news. The Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, turning the city from a capital of Siasa into a capital of Sifanashangui Katoliki. See you there. Hashtag Family Day in Nairobi 2023. Hashtag Unity in Faith. Keep watching Capuchin TV. Celebrating our 6th anniversary this August. Capuchin TV. Your staunchly Catholic identity channel. We're proud of six years of blessings and testimony with you, by you and for you. Capuchin TV Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli 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 ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli Weli Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Tumsifu Yesu Kristo mpendwa mtazamaji wa Capuchin TV popote pale ulipo na karibu kwa matangazo haya ya moja kwa moja ibada takatifu ya misa siku ya kifamilia kwenye jimbo kuu Katoliki la Nairobi tarehe ni ya 12 ya mwezi huu wa nane siku ambapo kanisa linamheshimu mwenye heri Isidori Bakanja pamoja na mtakatifu Jean Francis de Chantel jina ambalo limetia fora katika uh, wazazi ambao uh, wa siku hizi wanapenda jina Chantel kwa wasichana wao siku ya uh, mtakatifu Jean Francis Chantel ni siku ya leo tunawatakia kila laheri wale wote ambao wanaitwa jina Chantel na jina Bakanja na Isidori tuko katika uwanja wa shule ya mtakatifu Maria ama St Mary's eneo la Msongari apa karibu na makao makuu ya uh, baba askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo manake ni eneo la Westlands karibu na Msongari eneo la Msongari bila shaka na ni kama ambavyo tumekuwa tukikutangazia kwamba taungana na Jimbo kuu la Nairobi na pamoja nasi ni padre ambaye ni msimamizi wa wa, wa na kwaya atuambie majina yake na atuambie leo tunangoje tunatarajia ibada ina gani padre majina yako kwa yule ambaye hakufahamu na ofisi yako asante uh, sana mimi naitwa padre Peter Ken Jonge uh, padre wa Jimbo kuu la Nairobi na kwa sasa di director wa Radio Maria Kenya hapa Nairobi St Peter Clevers na vile vile mimi ni mwana liturgia katika jibo letu yani i belong to the liturgical commission in the archdiocese of Nairobi na kwa sasa tuko hapa kwa sababu ya hii kwaya mnayoiona hapa ambayo umetoka Mangu Dinari. Kwa kawaida tunapokogamana uh, tuna chagua dekani ya moja ambayo itatuwakilisha katika mambo yote. Kwa sasa ni Mangu Dinari ambayo sasa inatuwakilisha uh, mambo yote mpaka wa, wa, wakati wa sala za umini lakini kwa ya hii imetoka katika dekani ya yote ya Mangu ambayo inabarukia kadha wa kadha iko na matara iko na gashege iko na kiriko iko na mangu ya yenyewe iko na kamwangi iko na kianguno iko na nyamangara zote pamoja zina iko na kairi parish yote sasa imekuwa kama uh, dekani ya moja kwa sababu we want to bring the family aspect together na kwa hivyo tuwezi chagua kwa ya moja tuseme ya matara iweze tuwakilisha kwa hivyo ni kijumuia ya kifamilia ndio maana tumeitayarisha uh, kwa miezi hii yote mpaka leo na sasa he, leo ndio kilele ambacho watatuongoza katika ibada hii takatifu ya misa itakayoongozwa na uh, mahasha baba skofu mkuu Imekuwaje katika maandalizi ya liturujia ya leo hawa waimbaji walikuwa na kutanaji waweze kufanya mazoezi na ni baadhi ya nyimbo zipi ambazo mtazamaji natarajia kufuatilia uh, Kwanza kabisa uh, wanatafuta sentru uh, parokia bayo iko katikati ya parokia zote 
na sasa tuliona parokia katika mango ambayo iko katikati ni parokia ya wa Lady of Rosary Kamwangi na sasa tumekutana mara mbili hapo mara ya kwanza tukakutana tukaimba nyimbo na tunaimba nyimbo ambazo zinajulikana subuki ya mas wimbo kama unaoendelea sasa pea ni heri zaidi kutoa kuliko kupo Wimbo wa mbao unajulikana na umebobea sana Nyimbo hizi tunaweza kuzichangia pamoja ili wa kristu wote Wa kristu wote wa tambaka zote Waweze kuweza kuongea ama kuimba pamoja Na vile kuleta active participation katika liturgia yetu katika hapa uh, Jimbo Kula na Rabi wanakwaya wamewekeza sana katika uimbaji yeah. na kuna tuziteje zile zile tamasha zinaendelea na ama festivals kwa lugha ya Kiingereza yeah. kuna wale ambao wanasema pengine festivals ama uh, tamasha hizo ni mashindano zaidi mm. ya tamasha uh -huh. okay kwanza kabisa uh, si mashindano ni uinjilishaji kupitia kwa talanta walizo nazo hawa wanakwaya na ndio maana tunakongamana pamoja tukumbuke katika jimbo letu kula Nairobi tumegawanyishwa kwa kwaya mara mbili kuna urban na kuna ruro sasa za ruro zinaisha mapema na zinaanza mapema za urban zinaisha karibu sasa disemba kwa sababu wao wanaanza mwisho kabisa ili tuweze kuwa na uiano uh, kati ya viongozi na mapadre pamoja ili uimbaji katika uh, jimbo letu kula Nairobi kwa sababu watunzi ni wengi na nyimbo ni mingi tusipoziimba katika um, uh, festival zetu basi zitapotea yeah. sasa tunatarajia kwamba uh, ibada hii ya misa mm -hmm. wanakoa hawa baada ya kuimba eh, ibada hii ya misa bado wanaendelea na mazoezi ya hizo tamasha ama festivals ama kuna nini kinaendelea ngazi zipi ah kabisa ni lazima wataendelea hawa kwamei hapa wataendelea kwanza kama hawa wa udekania wa, wa mangu tayari hawajafanya familia yao ya udekania kwa hivyo nyimbo hizi ndizo watakazo tumia katika familia yao lakini wanapoendelea hivyo wenye wako na classes za juu kwa sababu tayari za chini zimeisha wataendelea na tamasha zao mpaka zimtamatike Maoni ya maparoko wengi baba umekuwa kwenye parokia ni kwamba yeah. mm. kwaya kwaya ina, inagarimu sana katika mm. katika mazoezi yeah. haya mashindano yeah. inagarimu sana mm. na inakuwa kidogo kama kama msalaba ama yeah. mzigo yeah. katika parokia yeah. maoni yako Hiyo imekuwa ni mjadala na kwanza kabisa ni ukweli lakini kwaya ikijipanga mapema hakutakuwa kama gharama ama msalaba lakini wasipodi panga mapema eh Unaona sasa mapadre wanalemewa kwa sababu kwanza kabisa wanatumia muda mrefu kutayarisha tena hamna hela na tena katika nchi hii yetu mnajua vile kunaendelea kwa sasa hela ni shida na kwa hivyo tunastahili kuwa na binu ambazo kwa yenyewe itajisimamia lakini si kila wakati kwenda kwa padre kwenda kwa padre tena hata wakisema ni heri zaidi kutoa wanakoya ni gumu sana wao wenyewe kujitolea wao wenyewe na kwa hivyo tunawahimiza wanakoya wote waweze vile vile kujitoa na kuweza hasa ku, kujitolea wao wenyewe si kusubua padre kila wakati um, tunapojipanga mapema kwa sababu kuna tamasha zingine mtaenda mpewe hela mkiwa pewa zile hela wacheni kukula ama kununua vitu ama labda kwenda e, sijui kusema tuwe na bash tumieni hizo hela kwa sababu ya festival lakini tukiendelea vile tutaendelea naona ni vizuri hivi karibuni tuweze kuwa na break kidogo ili tuweze kujipanga ili tukirudi mapadre hawatakuwa na msalaba Tuongee swala la waalimu wa ama wakufunzi wa hizi nyimbo. Yeah. Kuna parokia wanasema wamekuwa wana gharama sana kuwalipa, yeah. sio kama ni kuwalipa ama ni nini. Yeah. Kwa hivyo wanapende, wana, wanapendelea basi wasiwalipe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Na pengine wanaokosa kulipwa wanaenda kwenye kanisa zingine. Yeah. Mambo haya yanaendeleaje? Kwanza kabisa ni ukweli venye unasema. Lakini walimu wa kufunzi wanastahili kwanza kabisa kuwa na kazi ingine. Yaani usiwe tu kazi yako we ni mziki mziki mziki. You are supposed to have another work so that hii kanisa ni kujitolea. Lakini unaona wengi we wao wanategemea uh, uimbaji ama ukufunze wa mziki kama ndio tu tegemeo katika maisha yao. Ni lazima kwanza ujue ya kuwa first of all ni kujitolea hata sisi mapadri hamna mshahara kwanza kabisa ni kujitoa tusipokuwa na ile roho ya kusema tujitoe basi hamna pahali tunaweza labda huyu mwalimu atasema hii ni taaluma yangu kama yule kama vile msanii mwingine ama yule fundi mwingine ambaye yuko kwenye uwanja wa kazi na anapata riziki yake kutokana na ile kazi sasa yeye amesomea ualimu ama muziki na angependa basi talanta yake hiyo aifanyie kama anapofundisha pia anapata chochote kile kwa familia yake ndio taaluma yake kama yule fundi wa mayule mwalimu ama daktari yeye huyu mwalimu hii ni taaluma yake apate unga wapi 
tumepata wengi sana ambao wako hivyo na wengi unajua si lazima ufundishe kanisani unaweza jitoa kwa kanisa kama 10% lakini kazi hiyo ingine yani umebobea pia ya mziki ufundishe shule kwanza kwa sasa katika taasisi na CBC iliyo kuja kuna mashule mengi sana ambao nahitaji wa walimu wa, wa mziki so usitegemee tu kanisa fanya kazi kwingineko majioni kwa sababu ndio kwa practice ninayofanyika kuja ujitoe kwa kanisa lakini kusema tu utegemee kanisa na kanisa ni lile lile halina hela basi utagamia mm kuna wana kwa wengi ambao hawakufika hapa pengine hata na pia katika eh, jimbo zingine za yeah. za nchi yetu mm. ungewaambiaje kuhusu kuboresha uimbaji wao mm -hmm. sio tu wakati wa mashindano lakini mm. nyimbo za ibada ziwe bora yeah. mwaka mfuru, mwaka mzima mfululizo mm -hmm. sio tu wakati wa wa, yeah. wa, wa, wa tamasha e, kwanza kabisa hata ukisoma mtaguso wa pili wa Vatikano utaona kuwa the reason as to why we sing ni kwa ili tu participation katika liturujia na liturujia yenyewe inaanza na misa takatifu kwa hivyo kwanza kabisa kama vile mtakatifu Agostino anavyosema kuimba ni kusari mara mbili na kwa hivyo first of all tumwimbia Mwenyezi Mungu katika misa takatifu inayo sasa tupa Eucharistia takatifu na tukifanya hivyo na tukijipanga mapema from January hata December ikifika tuta na tutakuwa na deni ya mtu na tutakuwa basi tumemuudhi Mwenyezi Mungu aliyetupa talanta hii ya uimbaji wetu. Asante sana Padre. Neno la mwisho. Neno la mwisho ni kuwatakia nyote familia siku ya familia inayofana uh, kubukeni it is at diocese of Nairobi kumaanisha hata diocese zingine zilizoko chini ya at diocese of Nairobi mpaka the newest wote tunawakaribisha katika na familia yetu leo na vile vile tuweze kushikana maskofu wetu tuendeleze kanisa letu hasa umoja tuki yobea nchi yetu wakati huu na kujiumbea sisi wenyewe. Safi. Amekuwa ni padre eh, Peter Ken Jonge ambaye ni eh, padre msimamizi wa waimbaji hapa kwenye Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi akiongea kuhusu hasa uimbaji katika uh, Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi na hasa wakati ambapo tunaadhimisha uh, siku ya kifamilia kwenye Jimbo hili. Tuna mwingine ambaye ni uh, atatuambia jina yake bila shaka nembo hii itakwambia ni kutoka Caritas Microfinance Bank baba majina yako kwa lugha ya Kiingereza na Kiswahili ambao utaonelea. Naitwa Samuel Gashemi Nganga nafanya kazi na benki ya Caritas Microfinance Bank benki ambayo inamilikiwa na Jimbo Kuu Katoliki hapa Nairobi. Tunashukuru sana kwa mwaliko wa baba askofu kuja hapa katika sherehe za leo. Tunakaribisha wakristu wetu kutoka parokia zote hadi zile mpya ambazo zimefunguliwa huu mwaka. Asante. E, e, benki hii ya kanisa ya kanisa ime, imekuwa ikifanya vipi kwa miaka hii tangu ilipoanzishwa mpaka ifike mahali ambapo tumefikia sasa? Benki ya kanisa imefanya vyema kabisa. Kwa sasa tunajivunia kuwa benki ambayo katika kitengo cha Microfinance Bank Caritas ndiyo benki mzuri kabisa hapa nchini Kenya. Pia tunashukuru wa Kristu kwa kuwa alituwezesha mwaka uliopita wa 2022 kuwa sisi ndiyo tuliweza kuweka faida kubwa kabisa ya zaidi ya milioni ya rubaini katika vitabu. Tunashukuru hii pesa itakuja kwa kanisa katika miradi mbalimbali na tunahimiza wa Kristu waweze kujunga nasi ili tuweze kuweka pesa mingi tukisha tengeneza faida mingi hii pesa itarudi kwa wakristu na watapata faida. Huyo yeah. ambaye angependa kujiunga ama, ama ku, 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 kuwekeza nanyi atawapata wapi vipi katika jamhuri yetu? E, kwa sasa tuko na matawi tisa. Hapa Nairobi tuko na matawi saba. Tuko na mpango wa kufungua tawi jipya upande wa Gidhurai mwaka huu. Tumefungua e, branch mpya hapa Nakuru na tunawahimiza tutaweza kwenda nje ya Nairobi ili tuweze kuhimiza kupeleka huduma zetu kwa watu wote. Kwa sasa ukitaka kututembelea tuko katika uh, Facebook page unaweza search Caritas Microfinance Bank tuko katika Twitter na Instagram. Apart from that wenye wako kwa shika hii sherehe tuko na tent hapa nje ukitaka kujua mengi kuhusu Caritas tunawakaribisha. Pia tunaweza kuambia kanisa zetu zote tumefanya biashara ya about 1 billion na makanisa hapa Kenya tunahimiza kama kuna kanisa iko na mradi karibuni Caritas kama mko na shule ambayo ni ya parokia ama ya shirika tunahimiza mkuja katika kanisa, katika benki ya Caritas tunaweza kuwapea pay bill ambayo wazazi watakuwa wanalipa school fees bila malipo yote account yetu hapa Caritas ambayo ni ya mashirika ambayo katika parokia haina charges kwa hivyo hii ni benki ambayo inaelewa kanisa na mashirika yote pia tunaelewa wakristu wetu kwa sasa tuko na mradi tunafanya tumepata pesa kutoka kwa wahisani kwa wakulima wetu ambao wanafanya ukulima wa maziwa 
tumefanya ma, mikopo ya around 30 million upande ya Remuru na Kiambu na Gizunguri. Kwa hivyo kama kuna mwana mkulima ambaye unafanya biashara ya ukulima tembea katika matawi yetu tutaweza kukusaidia kwa huduma ambazo ni uh, discounted rates na tunawahimiza wote wakuje ili tuweze kukuza benki yetu. Kuna yule anajiuliza akija kwenu atafaidi vipi? tofauti na benki zile zingine ambazo ziko kule za 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 za, za uma ama zile za kibinafsi nyinyi mko na tofauti gani na wale wengine kwanza kadi sasa tunasema we are an ethically driven bank kwanza utaweza kupata huduma katika maadiri ambayo yanafaa katika jamii pili huduma zetu zini rahisi si lazima ukuja katika tabi ili uweze ku uh, services ukiwa na simu yako uko na benki mkononi mwako pia tunasema katika Caritas our services are subsidized. Kama nimekwambia tuko na mradi ya wakulima. Utapata ile rate tunapea wakulima wetu it's a subsidized rate. Actually we have special consideration we want to empower our women and the youth. Ukikuja katika Caritas na wewe ni youth ama mama ambaye unafanya ukulima tunakupe an instant an instant an instant straight is discounted. Tunawahimiza wote wakuje waweze kusherekea hii benki yetu na tuweze kuikuza pamoja. Yeah. Kwa yule ambaye angependa kuwasiliana nanyi pengine amekusikia sasa angependa kujua zaidi awasiliane na nyinyi kupitia namba gani ama vipi? Tuko na namba ya simu ukipiga kwa simu 020 utaweza kutupata. Pia unaweza tuma ujumbe katika Facebook page ama YouTube ama Instagram. Tutapata watu watamba tutaongea tuta, 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 tuta na wewe. 020 Itakuja kwa ofisi zetu na tutaweza kuongea na wewe. Asanteni sana. Tunakutakia kila laheri katika benki ya Micro eh, Caritas Microfinance ambayo ni benki ya kanisa. Ujumbe wa mwisho. Tunashukuru sana watu wa, wa Kristo wote. Tukiwakaribisha katika hii sherehe, tunahimiza tuseme kama uko kwa kanisa tuseme my church, kikundi changu my group, benki yangu my bank ambayo ni Caritas Microfinance Bank. Asante sana kwa zawadi. Thank you ni uh, wakati ya wale ambao wanatushikilia katika kazi hizi benki ya uh, Caritas ambayo iko zaidi hapa Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi na bila shaka kama nilivyosema wana matawi mengine ambao wanafungua katika nchi yetu basi kinachoendelea sasa hivi ni sakramenti ya kitubio inaendelea wakati ambapo misa inaendelea ku, kuandaliwa wale ambao wanahitaji sakramenti ya kitubio wanapata nafasi hiyo kumbuka kwamba ni weekend ya kwanza uh, baada ya mapumziko mafupi kwa wanafunzi wa ngazi zote hasa wale ambao wamekuwa katika shule za uh, msingi na za upili wako manyumbani tunatakia uh, mapumziko mema bila shaka kuna wazazi ambao watakuwa na wao kidogo wasumbufu lakini ni hali ya vijana na hali ya watoto katika ibada ya, ya leo tunatarajia kwamba itakuwa ikianza muda wa saa sanne kasoroko kulingana na ratiba iliyotolewa somo la kwanza linatoka katika kitabu cha mambo ya nyakati ambayo ni sura ya 15 mstari wa 3 hadi sura ya 16 mstari wa 2 zaburi ni ya 66 mshangilieni Mungu kwa furaha e nchi yote labda ni pengine ni ujumbe wa jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi ambapo e, ujumbe ni kwamba jimbo la Nairobi linamshukuru na kumshangilia Mwenyezi Mungu nchi yote somo la pili waraka wa mtakatifu Paulo kwa Warumi sura ya sita mstari wa tatu hadi 11 na tunakutana na Yesu katika injili kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Yohane ni sura ya nne mstari wa tano hadi 42 ni ile ile hadithi ama mfano Yesu alipokutana na yule mwanamke msamaria pale Kisimani na bila shaka kwenye ujumbe wa siku ya leo eh, kiongozi wa ibada ama mhubiri wa siku ya leo ataelezea zaidi katika eh, mfano wa ama mfano wa mms, eh, mwanamke msamaria ya kisima pale basi kama tunavyokutaarifisha kwamba maandalizi ni haya kama unaviona ni nyimbo ambazo zinaendelea kwa, kwa, kwa kuandaliwa hapa na upande wote ni kwamba uh, uh, wameendelea kujiandaa katika ibada ya misa hii na tunawatakia kila raheri wale ambao wako safarini wako njiani kumbuka kwamba ms, eh, msongamano wa magari hapa kwenye jimbo kuu wakati mwingine inakuwa uh, mkali lakini hata hivyo ni kwamba tunatarajia kwamba ibada ya misa itaendelea kama ilivyo ratibi wa basi tunachukua 
mapumziko mafupi tunapokuandalia ama tunapojiunga na uh, Jimbo Kula Nairobi ili tuweze kuhamasisha ujumbe wa Mwenyezi Mungu ambao umekuwa ukiendelea katika sala ya novena sala ya siku tisa ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea basi eh, ni maandalizi hayo ambayo yanaendelea na tutarudi baada ya eh, vitambulisho vichache na tutakuwa tukirudi kwako baada ya muda muda furi tunakuacha kwa kitambulisho kidogo alafu tunarudi wakati wa uh, mazoezi na poenda tunarudi baada ya kipindi kifupi cha matangazo baada ya Kapuchin TV Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni maraka Weli ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni maraka Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Kapuchin TV. Thank God as we celebrate six years of service being a Catholic broadcasting ministry of evangelization. We continue to spread the good news together and with your support. Thank you very much indeed for adoring us. From Riru Dinari Family Day last Saturday to the Archdiocese of Nairobi Family Day, join us for another faith celebration. The annual Archdiocese of Nairobi Family Day. This Saturday, 12 August, we gather in joy, love and unity, one in baptism and one in belief, bishops, priests, religious sisters and brothers, CMR, CWR, YCR, YCS, MYM, PMC and the choir. This is who we are, one big Catholic family. This celebration will be held at St. Mary's School Grounds Msungari in Westlands starting from 10 a.m. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Most Reverend Philip Anyulo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on its social media platforms. The Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, turning the city from a capital of Siasa, into a capital of Sifana Shangui Katoliki. See you there. Hashtag Family Day in Nairobi 2023. Hashtag Unity in Faith. Keep watching Capuchin TV. Celebrating our sixth anniversary this August. Capuchin TV, your staunchly Catholic identity channel. We're proud of six years of blessings and testimony with you. by you and for you. Christianity in everything do to others as you would have them do to you 
for this is the law and prophets Islam no one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself Judaism what is hateful to you do not do to your neighbor this is the whole Torah all the rest is commentary Baha'i faith lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish to be laid upon you and desire not for anyone the things you would not desire for yourself Buddhism treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful Hinduism this is the sum of duty do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Wajina na baba na mwana. Ano mtakatifu? Amani iwe nani. Kujuta na Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati We are fishers of men, priests in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili livyoandikwa na Marko. Inasonga mbele injili. Waeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ We are consecrated We are religious men and women Ah CMA we are men of action we are commission we are CWA we are women of faith we are soprano and alto we are tenor and bass we are voices of praise and worship on that grace grace morning when the sun was gone away on that resurrection morning Jesus rose to life again We are youth for Christ. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and altar servants. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are marriage encounter. We are couples for Christ. We are ordained. Mtakatifu Yosefu. We 
are one faith, one hope, one baptism. We are one holy, catholic, apostolic. We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are. My being proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit finds joy in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his servant in her lowliness. In the spirit of love, service, and self-sacrifice, the Institute of the Sisters of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, popularly known as the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi, gladly invites you to join them as they celebrate the religious perpetual vows, silver and golden jubilee. I'm Sister Catherine Kaua, Assumption Sister of Nairobi. I'm from Machakos Diocese. Uh, Kiongwani Parish, Zeven Out Station. I'm Sister Monica Werimu Karioki from Moranga Diocese, Marira Parish. I am Sister Mary Wavinya, an Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. Born in Machakos Diocese, St. Dominic Kitise Parish, St. Dominic Kitise Outstation. I'm Sister Winfred Sivu of the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. I am from Catholic Diocese of Kitui, Kasiala Parish. <laughs> I am Sister Juliana Mutisia from Machakos Diocese, Boni Parish. I'm Sister Joyce Nyambula Dongo, an Assumption Sister of Nairobi from Nakuru Diocese, Kinungi Parish. My name is Sir Francisca Kamwedi Anyalo from Wikutha Parish, Ketui Diocese. I'm Sister Teresia Moli, an Assumption Sister of Nairobi, born in Kitui Diocese. Musefe Shrine Parish. 
The three-tire mega ceremony will take place on the 15th day of August 2023 at the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi Karibaribi Uzima Center in Thika. His Grace Philip Subira Nyolo will join the sisters in the celebrations as the principal celebrant starting 10 a.m. East African time. The event will be aired live on Capuchin Television Network. Come, we will celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Let us give thanks to God together. Karibu nyote. You are all welcome. Karibu what? The Capuchin TV fraternity congratulates the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi for this great achievement. And in a special way, the sisters who will be professing their final vows for the bold step, as well as those celebrating Silver Jubilee and Golden Jubilee. We are an African religious institute of a difficult right under the patronage of Queen, assumed body and soul into heaven. Like Mary, we are called to be deeply rooted in the personal love of Jesus Christ, filled with apostolic zeal, to emerge among the people in the service of the church as life givers, bringing the good news of salvation in order to uplift. For more information about the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi, visit their website at www.assumptionsisters.co. Dot ke. For further inquiries about the institute, send an email to asn at assumptionsisters.co.ke. Keep watching Capuchin TV. Your Catholic identity. Kwa kila jambo mshukuru mungu. Nina penda kwa karibisha kwenye shere yangu. Iyo tarembile huko nyumbani yenzuva. Mkuje tushereke iyo miaka ya unduma ni metua kwa kanisa na watu wa mungu. Jumamosi itare mbili septemba. Runinga Kapjin, tunaungana na ndugu John Kameme Musioki, wa ndugu wa Francisco wa Kapjini. Mzali wa parokia ya Blesta Carmen, katika jimbo katoliki la kitui. Ataka ya sherekea miaka telatini ya kutumikia mungu kama buruda, baada ya kupata na diri yake daima, mwaka ilfu moja kedamia, tisini na tatu mkononi mwake, Mwashamu Joseph Alexandro, askofu mstafu wa jimbo katoliki la Garissa. Buruda huyo, ambaye nafanya kazi yake utume kwenye parokia mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa pili, enola kabiangi kwenye jimbo katoliki la Kericho, aliwai kudumu kwenye maeneo mbalimbali hapa nchini na injenchi. Nikifanya kazi sehemu mbalimbali, nimefanya Ruiru, nimefanya Italy kwenye nyumba yetu ya International College nimekuja pia nikafanya Mpegatoni nimefanya St Bridget na wakati huo ninafanya kwenye Kambianga Parish Kericho Diocese Ndugu John Msioki anamshukuru Mungu na shirika lake anaposherekea miaka 30 ya utumishi wake kwa Mungu Vile nimetoa hiyo nduma ningependa kushukuru Mungu kwa baraka zake kwangu na kwa shirika yetu wa Kapuchini vile tumeona Mungu akitujalia na amefanya mambo mengi kujeni tarehe mbili mwezi wa tisa huko nyumbani tusherekee pamoja tukishukuru Mungu Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saini ya asubuhi ikiongozwa na padri mkuu au kipenda vika jendro John Mwandi wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kitui Jimbo linaloongozwa na askofu Joseph Mogela. Misa takatifu itafanyika nyumbani mwao enola Yensuva, Mwingi Magharibi katika kaunti ya Kitui. Kwa maelezo zaidi, wasiliana na ndugu John Msioki kupitia nambari ya simu 
sita sita ine sufuri tano ine au kipenda sufuri saba tatu tatu tisa nane moja tatu nane saba runinga captain tunampongeza ndugu John Msioki anapoadhimisha miaka 30 ya utumishi kwa Mungu Asante Yesu Asante Yesu Asante Owema wako Endelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki For this very reason do your best to add goodness to your faith and to your goodness add knowledge to all principles of Catholic sponsored public secondary schools and associate members the 8th edition of the Catholic Schools Principals Association conference is here the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops Commission for Education and Religious Education invites you to this 3 day pedagogical convening slated to take place from Tuesday 15th of August to Thursday 17th of August 2023 in the Pope Paul the 6th Learning Resource Center at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa in Karen, Nairobi. This year's convocation will focus on fostering professionalism and diligence in Catholic educational institutions under the theme Catholic Schools, Hubs of Moral Values and Faith Formation for the whole school community in respect for human dignity. Capuchin TV team will set camp at the venue for the three consecutive days bringing you real time updates on the sessions as and when they happen. For inquiries about the conference contact your diocese and education secretary or the KCCB Education Commission on 0700 649 340 or send an email to education at catholiccharge.or.ke Keep watching Capuchin TV your catholic identity St. Patrick's Missionary Society was officially founded on 17th of March 1932 in Wicklow County of Ireland and in 1951 compelled by Christ's love to reach out in service to God's people it opened its doors to Kenya The missionaries of St. Patrick's are delighted to invite you to the diaconate ordination of 10 of their members The candidates to be ordained to the order of deacons are Humphrey Wesonga, Jeremiah Bassey, Barnabas Kumason, Stanley Wehere, Joseph Gibrin, Anthony Ugochuku, Levi Uchenna, Asu Paul Eyare, Imes Vika and Thomas Michael Zegi. The diaconate ordination mass is slated for Saturday 19th of August 2023 at the Holy Family Parish in Utawala, Nairobi, Kenya, starting 10 a.m. East African time. The chief celebrant and ordaining prelate will be His Grace Most Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makumba, Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Kisumu. This celebration will be aired live on your number one Catholic broadcasting channel, Capuchin TV, and all its corresponding digital podia simultaneously. You can also follow a live stream of the event on St. Patrick's Theology House Facebook page. For inquiries about the diaconate ordination or how to become a missionary of St. Patrick, contact the vocations director on 0708 661916 or send an email to vocspsea@gmail.com Capuchin TV congratulates the deacons to be and the entire St. Patrick Missionary Society Keep watching Capuchin TV your Catholic identity
synodio prayer. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partially influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. We ask these of you who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. I am Bishop Joseph Mongela, Catholic Dazo of Kitui, and the Chairman of the Pastoral and Lay Apostolate in the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops. I invite you and welcome you warmly to a National Prayer Day to be held at Subukia National Shrine. The theme for this year is journeying together as a reconciled family. We shall be led by the Metropolitan of Nairobi to come and pray together for our country, for our church, for each one here in our country, to live in peace with one another, to live as brothers and sisters, and to be reconciled, to heal the world so that we move together. We pray for peace, we pray for growth, and accepting each other as we work together as one family. We are all welcome to come and pray together, asking God to hear our prayers and heal our country and make us live as brothers and sisters. God bless you. Welcome to Trust, Compassionate, House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near J. Quat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling, addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer, you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all, because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us. Our email is counselingc442 at gmail.com. Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza kupona kiroho na kimwili. Mwakaribisha nyote kwa Immaculate Heart Psycho Spiritual Counseling Center, Karen. Karibu.
Sherehe ya nasi mwezi huu. Channel Bomba Cinema na vipindi vya kusisimua. Burudani kamili kwa familia nzima. That's why I love this stuff. Sherehe ya nasi upate nafasi ya kushinda zawadi kila wiki kuanzia 55 inch TV, fridge na pikipiki. Treat familia na ununue Star Times decoder madukani kwetu na kwa uzaji wetu nchi nzima. Lipia subscription yako upate nafasi ya kushinda zawadi kemkem kwenye draw za kila wiki. It's the best. Kutoka kwa familia yetu hadi yako. Asante kwa kutukaribisha nyumbani kwenu. Star Times, furahia maisha kidijitali. For close to 40 years, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa has stood out as a regional hub for creating success stories. At Quaya, we are known for developing lifelong skills, shaping destinies, and forming innovative and transformative leaders for the industry and the society. Ours is an exciting student experience in a rich multicultural environment to empower dreams for the future. Welcome to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Have you ever been to the Holy Land? Would you wish to return? Capuchin TV in association with Africa Visa Travel presents The Holy Land Pilgrimage in Egypt and Israel. This is a lifetime experience. The pilgrimage will be a 12th day in Egypt and Israel from 12th November to 23rd November this year. Some of the places you'll get to visit include the Pyramids of Giza in Egypt, Mount Sinai, the place of the burning bush, Jerusalem and Bethlehem, Church of Nativity, Mount Zion, the Last Supper Room, King David's Tomb, the home of John the Baptist, the Garden of Gethsemane, the Way of the Cross via Dolorosa, Golgotha, the tomb where Jesus was laid, Nazareth, Mount Carmel, Cana, the Sea of Galilee, Mountain of Beatitudes, River Jordan, and many more. Book now! For 2200 US dollars per person, sharing in a twin or double room, and for 2550 US dollars per person in a single room. You can book a slot with 200 US dollars and pay the balance in flexible deposits. Note better, final payment should be completed a month before the intended travel date. Travel documents required include a passport must be valid for at least six months from date of travel, a yellow fever certificate, two passport size photos, recent, color with a clear or white background, a letter of introduction and visa request. For more information, contact Vincent Mainge on 0722-283-632 or Lynette Mora on 0738-642. 059 or Capuchin TV on 0717-424-866. You can also write to us on vincent at africavisatravel.com or info at capuchintv.co.ke. It's a Holy Land pilgrimage with Capuchin TV in association with Africa Visa Travel. Twindeni Jerusalem, Twindeni Bethlehem. Twindeni Nazareth. A state-of-the-art healthcare facility built with love of Christ at the center of all services. The mission is to provide Christ-centered, evidence-based, affordable, efficient, and patient-focused services 
specialized health care in this region through sustained targeted health systems. St. Francis Community Hospital, Kasarani. We believe healing begins with compassion built on excellence, honesty, integrity, efficiency, and effectiveness. This is the St. Francis Community Hospital Strategic Plan 2021 and uh, to 2025. We have the objectives which are guiding us and these ones are being practiced and actualized as we continue serving the patients. We carry on a mission of responsive holistic healing hatched 14 years ago, stronger and bolder, guided by our progressive vision of being the preferred epitome of high-quality healthcare in the region. St. Francis Community Hospital, which was started in 2009 in January, and this was due to the increasing demand for quality healthcare services to a fast-growing sub-segment of urban population in Nairobi. Uh, the surroundings of this hospital are slum areas. We have Madare, we also have Huruma, and we have the upcoming Kasarani slums. We have greatly invested in latter-day diagnostic and therapeutic medical infrastructure to guarantee you full recovery through timely and effective treatment. In the executive department, we have a capacity of eight beds, eight patients. We normally admit all patients who, are, who require the executive services, that is gynecological patients, medical patients, pediatrics, surgical patients. We have consultants, primary doctors, and professional nurses who are well-trained and pursuant with patient care. An outpatient department with fully-fledged specialized clinics, surgical, obstetric, gynecological, pediatric surgery, and the neurosurgeon clinics. Our ward is divided into four parts, the acute room, the medical part, and there is isolation and the surgical, surgical part. We admit patients up to 13 years. We have a residential pediatrician who is always with us, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have our pediatric surgeon who comes and attends to our patients. A neat, fully equipped 22-bed capacity pediatric ward with resident and consultant specialists stand by for prompt attendance to booked and emergency cases. We also have medical outpatient clinics where we have physicians coming and seeing patients who have been booked. We also have other services like dental unit, laboratory, where we have highly specialized uh, facilities and services. We also have imaging department where we have all the imaging that one would need for diagnostics. We also take care of our Im uh, immunosuppressed patient and that is a department called CCC where the C HIV patients come, they are cancelled, they are given treatment and they are also followed at their homes by um, unit called community-based health care. A modern, executively furnished private patient facility to meet your privacy preference needs. Patients uh, serve their meals according to their own preferences and the visiting time is open. The visitors excuse us when they're giving the care to the patient. Then we give personalized health care services to the patient. 24-hour ambulance services for both critical intubated and non-intubated patients. We also have dialysis services, which is accredited by NHIF, ICU services, a neonatal bone unit, and just to say that we've been able to follow up a baby who was born with 500 grams and went home with the two kilograms. We feel that that is a plus for St. Francis. We continuously work to further improve and diversify our services to better meet dynamic patient needs as we share in the healing ministry of Christ through excellent medical care. We believe that as we have 
our motto of treating and God healing, the same God is going to see us climb higher and higher. Trust St. Francis Community Hospital for all your health care needs. Experience palpable compassion in healthcare. Everyone is welcome to St. Francis, a special pediatric ward. We take care of you. You are welcome to St. Francis, an executive department. Visit us today along Kasarani Mwiki Road in Nairobi. For health emergencies and other inquiries, contact us on 0713-969-608 or 0741-689-983. Or email us on admin at stfranciscospital.or.ke. St. Francis Community Hospital, Kasarani. We treat God Heals. Capuchin TV. Thank God as we celebrate six years of service being a Catholic broadcasting ministry of evangelization. We continue to spread the good news together and with your support. Thank you very much indeed for adoring us. From Riru Dinari Family Day last Saturday to the Archdiocese of Nairobi Family Day, join us for another faith celebration. The annual Archdiocese of Nairobi Family Day. This Saturday, 12 August, we gather in joy, love and unity, one in baptism and one in belief, bishops, priests, religious sisters and brothers, CMR, CWR, YCR, YCS, MYM, PMC and the choir. This is who we are, one big Catholic family. This celebration will be held at St. Mary's School Grounds Musungari in Westlands starting from 10 a.m. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Most Reverend Philip Anulo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on its social media platforms. The Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, turning the city from a capital of Siasa, into a capital of Sifana Shangui Katoliki. See you there. Hashtag Family Day in Nairobi 2023. Hashtag Unity in Faith. Keep watching Capuchin TV. Celebrating our sixth anniversary this August. Capuchin TV, your staunchly Catholic identity channel. We're proud of six years of blessings and testimony with you by you and for you. kuadhimisha siku ya kifamilia ya Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi kiongozi wa ibada ni mhashamu askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo pamoja na msaidizi wake askofu David Kamau pamoja na muadhama John Cardinal Njue askofu mkuu mstaafu Jimbo hili la uh, Nairobi pamoja na mgeni askofu John Obala Owa askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki Langong pamoja na mgeni askofu hasa kutoka nchi ya Mali kule Afrika uh, Magharibi tunawakaribisha watazamaji wetu wote ili tuadhimishe ibada hii ya misa takatifu kuadhimisha siku ya kifamilia ya Jimbo kuu la Nairobi Karibu tumtole Mwenyezi Mungu sala zetu na mahitaji yetu na mahitaji ya wengi walio tuomba tuwakumbuke kwenye sala na kama tulivyosema ni ibada ya misa 
kuadhimisha sherehe ya siku ya kifamilia kwenye jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi. Jimbo la Nairobi ambalo limekalia kaunti mbili, kaunti ya Nairobi na kaunti ya Kiambu limeundwa na parokia mia na tisa dekania mbili askofu wawili pamoja na wengi ambao wanasaidia kazi mara moja moja wanapoitwa katika huduma za kichungaji jiunge nasi kwa salahiku ya kanisa
Keti. Sherehe za Jimbo Kula Nairobi ya siku ya familia kwa furaha na shangwe. Ni muombe Father Peter Irenge, Dean Mary Immaculate Dinare Mangu aweza kutoa hotuba ya makaribisho. Tupigie Father Makofi, Father Dean Mangu Dinare. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati sherehe tunayo hatuna your grace philip anyolo the archbishop of the metropolitan of nairobi his lord the auxiliary bishop akdaz of nairobi his eminence john kanonjue the archbishop emeritus of nairobi akdasis his lordship john obala uwa Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Gong, His Lordship Hassa Florenti Kone, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of San, that is in Mali, Father Edward Muloa, Bishop's Secretary from Kitui Diocese, representatives of the bishops from the other dioceses present, Vicar Superiors present, Father Wallace Nganga, the pastoral coordinator, Father Simon Nganga, our procreator, priests, deacons, religious men and women, distinguished. On behalf of the clergy and the Christians from the great Mangudinari who are animating this year's Family Day Mass, I am privileged to you all. Karibuni sana. Mangudinari covers the entire Gatudu North sub-county in Kiabu County. We border Muranga Diocese to the north and Nyahururu Diocese to the west. There are 15 priests serving in the eight parishes, namely St. John the Baptist Mangu, Our Lady of Fatima Kiriko, St. Stephen Kairi, St. Teresa, the Child Jesus, Kianguno, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Kamwangi, St. Anne's Matara, St. Peter Crevas, Nyamangara, and St. Teresa, Wavira, Kashege. In the spirit of our theme this year, a united family, strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and truth, we are gathered here today to celebrate our family day. Our presence in such huge numbers is an expression of our strong faith and unity. We are proud and we thank God for the far he has brought us. And in this mass, we pray for our shepherds, our priests, religious men and women, and all our Christians, that the good Lord may continue blessing us in our generosity. Once again, Mangu kwa mufea, Mangu kwa magiri welcomes you all. Karibuni sana. Kwa shangwe na vigelegele basi, tumkaribishe baba askofu mkuu wetu, tuongoze kwa ibada ya misa. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Tusimame sote. Kwa jina la baba, na la mwana, na la roho mtakatifu. Amani iwe nanyi. Kwa pendwa wa mungu, tume kuja pamoja, tulive elezwa na father Peter. Kama familia ya mungu, familia ambaye metengwa kumabudu mungu kumushukuru, na kumuomba yote tunayahitaji katika eneo hili la jimbo kuu la Nairobi tunasema asante kwa jimbo kuu tunasema asante kwa kila mmoja wetu tunasema asante kwa Mungu kwa kila familia tuliyo nayo inayojenga familia kubwa hii ya jimbo la Nairobi malengo yetu na mahitaji yetu Mungu atuwezeshe 
iwapo ya kwamba tuendelea kukaa pamoja kama familia na tuwe ya kwamba tuwe pamoja katika familia hii tuombe msamaha wa dhambi zetu tuliyo mkosea Mungu amweze kutuwezesha kumsamehea na aliye tukosea hivyo hivyo na hasa kwa Mungu mwenyewe tuseme na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kutumiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana kwa maana ya kwamba Maria ni heri bila daima malaika na watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu na Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamehe dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele
tuombe we Mungu huachi kujikusanyia watu toka mataifa yote tume wake itembee daima pamoja na familia ya wanadamu na chachu na roho ya jamii wat, ya watu inayofanya na kufanya upya katika Kristu na kugeuka kuwa daima familia ya Mungu kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Yeah.
katika kitabu cha kwanza cha mambo ya nyakati Siku Daudi aliwakusanya wa Israeli wote kule Yerusalemu ili kulipandisha saduku la Bwana mpaka mahali pale alipopatayarisha kwa ajili yake Daudi akawaita pamoja wana wa Haroni na Walawi Walawi wakalibeba saduku la Mungu mabegani mwao kwa miti yake sawasawa na neno la Bwana Daudi akawaangiza wakuu wa Walawi kuwapanga dugu zao walio waibaji wakiwa na vyombo vyao vya muziki vinanda vinumbi na matawazi kusundi wavipige kwa kupaza sauti za furaha wakaliingiza saduku la Mungu na kuliweka katikati ya hema aliyoipiga Daudi kwa ajili yake nao wakamtolea Mungu sadaka ya kuteketezwa na sadaka ya amani na Daudi alipomaliza kuzitoa sadaka za kuteketezwa na sadaka za amani akawabariki watu kwa jina la Bwana somo la Bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana kiitikio Mshangilieni Mungu kwa furaha e nchi yote Mshangilieni Mungu kwa furaha e nchi yote
Somo katika mbalua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Warumi. Ndugu zangu, amjui kwamba sisi sote tuliombatizwa kumshiriki Kristu Yesu, tumembatizwa kushiriki kifo chake. Basi Kwa njia ya umbatizo katika kifo tumezikwa pamoja naye ili kama Kristu alivyofufuliwa katika wafu kwa kumtukuza baba nasi tuishi maisha mapya Ikiwa tumekufa pamoja na Kristu twasadiki kwamba tutaishi pamoja naye Twajua ya kuwa baada ya kufufuka katika wafu Kristu hafi tena Mauti haimwezi tena Kwa maana kwa kufa kwake alifia dhambi mara moja lakini kuishi anaishi kwa ajili ya Mungu Ninyi pia mjione kama watu waliofia dhambi na kuishi kwa ajili ya Mungu Katika Kristu Yesu Bwana wetu Neno la Bwana Shangilio la injili kizazi kiteule ukuhani wa kifalme taifa takatifu mlio teuliwa mpate kutangaza matendo makuu ya yule aliyewaita mtoke gizani na kuingia katika mwanga wake wa ajambo Takatifu ilivyo andiko na Yohane
wakati ule Yesu alifika kwa Yesu kale karibu na shaba ambalo Yakobo alimpa mwanawe Yosefu pale palikuwa na kisima cha Yakobo Yesu alikuwa amechoka kwa safali akaketi penye kisima mnamo saa sita. akaja mwanamke msamalia kuteka maji Yesu akamwambia nipe maji ninywe kwa maana wafuasi wake walikuwa wamekwenda mjini kununua chakula mwanamke msamaria akamwambia nje wewe uliye mjahudi unaniomba mimi nilie mwanamke msamalia maji ya kunywa Yesu akajibu akamwambia kama ugelijua karama ya Mungu ni nani anayekwambia ni Ugeli muomba wewe naye agalikupa maji ya uzima. Mwanamke akamwambia, "Bwana, huna chombo cha kutekea na kisima ni kilefu, utapataje maji ya uzima?" Je, wewe mkubwa kuliko baba yetu Yakobo, aliyetupa kisima hiki naye mwenyewe na wanawe na wanyama wake wakanywa maji yake? Yesu akajibu akamwambia, "Kila Anywaye maji haya taona kiu tena lakini anywaye maji ni mpayo mimi hataona kiu milele maji ni mpayo mimi atakuwa ndani yake chemichemi ya maji ya kibubujika uzima wa milele mwanamke akamwambia bwana nipe maji hayo nisione tena kiu wala nisifike tena hapa kuteka maji bwana Naona ya kuwa wewe unabii baba zetu waliabudu katika mlima huu nanyi mwasema kwamba Yerusalemu ni pahali, mahali patupasapo kuabudu Yesu akamwambia mwanamke uniamini saa inakuja mtakapo mwabudu baba si katika mlima huu wala Yerusalemu ninyi mwabudu msiyojua sisi twaabudu tujuayo kwa maana wokovu watoka kwa Wayahudi lakini saa inakuja na dio sasa waabudu wa kweli watamwabudu baba katika roho na ukweli kwa maana baba hatafuti watu wanaomwabudu hivyo mugu ni roho basi wanaomwabudu yeye lazima wamwabudu katika roho na ukweli mwanamke akamwambia najua kwamba masia itoe Kristo atakuja basi atakapokuja yeye atatueleza yote Yesu akamwambia Ni mimi ninayosema ninaye nawe katika mji ule wa Samalia wegi walimsadiki kwa sababu ya neno la mwanamke yule aliyeshuhudia ameniambia yote niliyotenda kwa hiyo wa Samalia walimwendea wakamuomba akae kwao naye akakaa huko siku mbili Watu wengi zaidi wakasadiki kwa sababu ya neno lake na wakamwambia yule mwanamke sasa hatusadiki kwa sababu ya maneno yako bali sisi wenyewe tumesikia na kutabua ya kuwa huyu kweli ni mwokozi wa ulimwengu Ijili ya Bwana kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen ndugu adada wapendwa madama kadnali john njue askofu wenzangu askofu wajimbo langong 
John Obala askofu msaidizi wetu wangu wa jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi Daudi Kamau na askofu mgeni wetu askofu hasa Florian hasa manake sio Hassan hasa ni hasa lakini alituambia maana ya hasa kwa jina lao kwa kabila yake ya kimali sio mali lakini mali hasa maana yake ni matumaini kwa hivyo yeye ni askofu wa matumaini the bishop of hope tupigie makofi ndugu zangu mapadri ndugu na dada watawa na wakristu hasa na wapendo wa Mungu ham jambo i am happy are you happy yes are you really happy yes basi kama umefurahia siku ya leo naomba tu wanakuwa waturudie wimbo wa saburi tenzi moja mshangilieni Mungu kwa furaha e inji yote tenzi moja tu kelegele lakini najua mna furaha Asante sana. Basi ni siku yetu ni siku ambayo hatuna budi kuwa na furaha. Kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu sisi tulio hapa ni familia kubwa, familia ya Jimbo kuu la Nairobi ambao maadili yetu na maagizo yetu yanatujenga na inatujenga pia tuwe marafiki na wana wa Mungu. Kwa basi tutayafananisha maisha yetu na masomo ya leo katika mafundisho ya Bwana my dear people of god dear family of god in the archdiocese of nairobi dear brothers and dear sisters in christ as we celebrate the archdiocese the season family day 2023 i greet all of you dear sons dear daughters of our beloved archdiocese all its children all the young people men and women religious priests and all the faithful those here present and those who are not able to come for one reason or another may the grace and peace of the lord be with you all a very happy family day to you all so wish so mtakie jirani yako happy family day on your right again happy family day so wapenzi wa Mungu in a moving encounter at a well in Samaria a woman who was living a life in pursuit of pleasures of the world the lord jesus christ revealed to us what he the messiah the one both the Jew, the, for the jews and for the samaritans whom they were waiting could give her or make make it make happen he would cleanse her heart of all its misery due to sin and fill it with peace joy and love in an ascending speech he taught her step by step 
a new worship. The worship of the Father in spirit and truth, which she would offer in her very body. What does it mean to worship the Father in spirit and truth? Manakin mimi kumabudu mungu kiroho na ukweli. If the Spirit is none other than the Holy Spirit that the Father would send, because he had promised, and the truth is none other than Jesus Christ, the eternal truth or the word of the Father, we are called to reflect on how we worship. When a person listens and obeys Jesus' word, the Holy Spirit unites him with their soul. Through the Son, the Spirit makes us sons and daughters of the Father capable of sharing the very life of God. My dear family of God in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, this is our true identity. We are children of the Father, born of the water and spirit. This is the fundamental dignity of each of us as Christians. Baptism not only purifies us from all sins, but also makes us, or makes the, as newly, the newly baptized as a new creature, an adopted son of God, who has become a partaker of the divine nature, member of Christ and co-heir with him and the temple of the Holy Spirit. My dear people of God, the second reading of this Holy Mass deepens our understanding of the great things that happened when we were, that happened when we were baptized. And so says St. Paul to us, in the sacrament of baptism we die, or we die with Christ. We were crucified and buried with him, and then we rose with him. He asks us, as he says, do not know do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ were baptized into, the, into his death? And then he adds, we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of his Father, we too might walk in newness of life. We are a new people. The love of our Heavenly Father knows no limits. He also loved us as to send us His only Son. In this, His love that He has showed us not that we loved God, but he loved us and sent his son to be expiation of our sins. When his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Jesus washed the feet of the disciples as a slave would have done. Then he instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. In this desire, which was his own desire to be with us until the end of the world, accompanying us and strengthening us 
becoming our spiritual food until our journey is completed in this world. In the Holy Eucharist, we therefore receive the very same Jesus, our Lord and God. What is contained in the form of bread and wine is Christ's very body and blood, soul and divinity. When we receive Holy Communion, therefore, we receive Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, and become one with him sacramentally. The eternal word assumed our human nature from the Virgin Mary and became man. Through her obedience and obedient faith, she conceived him in her heart first and second bore him in the womb in the form of the incarnate son. With her active participation, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, full of grace and truth. Because of Christ, the ark of the covenant that was the divine presence of God in, our, in the Old Testament has been transformed. There is now the new ark of covenant, which is Mary, who is the seat of the divine presence. Through her, we have the manna, which is none other than the Eucharist the food from heaven. The Eucharist of the Lord, the rod of Aaron, the priest, which is the symbol of the ordained priesthood and his power to forgive sins in the sacrament of confession. And the tablets, the word of God, the teaching of Jesus Christ, which we listen to during every Eucharistic celebration and even as we read in our families, in our communities, and as we read the Gospels and the Bible. Today, my dear family of God, as we celebrate the family day of our beloved Archdiocese with this theme, a united family strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and truth, I have spoken to you at length on each of the readings to help us to understand that our unity is not a superficial passing unity prone to easy disintegration. No, it is not. Those basic truths that I explained of our immersion into the very life of the true in God in baptism, and as dying with Christ and rising again with him into new life and our Eucharistic communion as communion with Christ and with one another are what make us a one family. From our families, our small Christian communities, our local churches, our parishes, our dinner is to this level of our diagnosis of Nairobi. We all share and are united in the one Lord, in the one baptism, and one spirit, and one body of Christ. Dear family of God, let me therefore urge you to persevere in our unity rooted in our Catholic faith and the sacraments, especially the sacrament of baptism and the Holy Eucharist. Let us be fervent members, members living the life of our baptism and the Eucharistic celebration, the people of the Eucharist. 
As baptized Christians, we must avoid grave sins at all costs. In today's second reading, St. Paul told us firmly as follows. We must consider ourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ because of what transpired in the holy baptism. Pope Saint Leo the Great, who lived until 461 AD, reminded his Christians of this truth during one of the Christmas homilies, as he said, Christian, a Christian, remember, remember your dignity. And now that you share in God's own nature, do not return to sin, to your former basic condition. Bear in mind who is your head and of whose body you are a member. Do not forget that you have been rescued from the power of darkness and through and brought into the light of God's kingdom. This is also a relevant reminder to us as people and family, the family of God in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. As baptism requires of us a life free from sin, the Holy Eucharist demands love for one another from us. So he said, Jesus Christ himself, and let us repeat it in our words. Soon after instituting the Holy Eucharist, Jesus gave us his new command. The command that includes all others. He said, I give you a new commandment. Love one another just as I have loved you. You also must love one another. It's a quotation from John 13, 34. So demanding is this command of Jesus Christ that St. Paul warns his Christians at, at Corinth not to die or celebrate the Eucharist if some are at odds with each other. To celebrate the Eucharist without mutual love is to turn the best of food into the most dangerous, poisonous food of life. And whoever therefore eats the bread of or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he warned. And when David brought the ark of God to Jerusalem, as we had in the first reading, he gave the distinct impression that God was present in the ark. After every six steps of the procession with the ark, David sacrificed an ox and a fatling lamb. Then David, the king of the nations, put on his dancing clothes and came dancing before the Lord without fear and abandoning that dance. He was very joyful, he was very grateful to serve the Lord with great gladness. The musical accompaniment of all this was about the joy and he sounded this joy in form of the music that comes from the horn of the jubilee, reminder and celebration. Finally, he blessed the crowd 
and gave each person a loaf of bread, a cut of roasted meat, and a rising cake. I'm sure when we leave this place, each one of us will have a spiritual loaf of bread, a cut of roasted meat, the body of Christ, and the rising cake, which is born out of our joy in admiring and loving the presence of one another in the family. The other of the book of Chronicles narrated this history of which we had in this first reading as I have mentioned to you. So, as Christians in the Archdiocese of Nairobi today, let us continue with our celebration, seeking the Lord's blessings as a loaf of bread as a roasted meat and rice in cake in our families, in our priests and among families and priests, in our consecrated men and women, in our children, in our youthful young people, in men and women of these archdiocese, in the elderly and the sick, the poor and the forsaken, and on every living in this archdiocese. It is a call for us to do that. We also entrust those who passed away from our families, our departed members who have gone ahead of us, before us to God including our past shepherds, our former archbishops, priests, men and women religious, that their souls may continue resting in eternal peace. Eternal peace grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. And now, on all of us, May God's mercy and his blessings come down through this holy mass that we are celebrating. May God, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of the church and our mother, keep us a united family, strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and truth. May the Almighty God enable you to abide in Christ. Amen. Amen. And may he bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So happy day. Happy family day. Again, happy family day. So before we reflect on our commitment as Catholic Christians that will lead us to the creed that we take, and I want, I want to ask you again, the choir now to sing one stanza again of that song that unites us from the Old Testament to the New Testament, the proclamation of that we have said. Mshangilieni mungu kwa furaha enji yote. Na kila moja wetu tumshangilie mungu na posimama kwa furaha na shangwe karibuni Wewe basi wimbo huo
kwa moyo huyo huo huo wa shukrani na ibada tungali tumesimama naomba tuweze kukiri imani yetu na zadiki kwa Mungu mmoja Mumba mbingu na dunia Nalionekana na visivyoonekana na zadiki kwa Bwana mmoja Yesu Kristu mwana pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwana kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila ku Mwenye Mungu mmoja na Baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeambiwa vilishika toka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu mtakatifu kwa yake yeye mtume Maria akawa mwanadamu akasulubiwa kwa ajili ya sisi kwa mamlaka ya Pontius Pilato akateswa akafa na akazikwa siku ya tatu akafunga kadiri ya maandiko akapaa mbinguni ameketi kumbe kwa Mungu hukumu wa sima na wapu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima atokae kwa baba na kwa mwana anayewabdiwa na kuuskuta kama moja na baba na mwana anayelala kwa mimi na na sadiki kwa kanisa mmoja takatifu katoliki la mitume muungano wa padiso mmoja na maendeleo ya dhambi na ngojea na ufufuko wake kwa hivi sasa tunawalika kwa sala za uamini waliwandaliwa wajonge mbele na baadhi ndugu zangu katika sala hii ya wazi moja tunayofanya sasa si kila mmoja wetu yake kwa ajili yake peke yake wala kwa ajili ya mahitaji yetu sisi wote bila wote kwa ajili ya watu wote tumheshimu Mungu na kumuomba bwana wetu Yesu Kristu kwa sala hiyo ya kipekee sala kwa ajili ya kanisa he Mungu kwa maongozi yako ya ajabu Umepanga ufalme wa Kristu ene mahali pote liwe sakramenti ya wokovu litembee daima pamoja na familia ya wanadamu mtazame kwa wema mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu Francisco askofu wetu mkuu Philip Wanyolo askofu msaidizi Daudi Kamau askofu mstaafu Yohane Kardinali Njue pamoja na kundi la mapadri uliowaweka wawe wasimamizi juu yetu ili wapate kuliongoza taifa lako la Kikristu kama wakili wa, wa Kristu wawe walimu waminifu wa mafundisho ya imani waongoze wa Kristu ili kila mmoja wetu aishi na atende kulingana na mapenzi yako kwa manufaa ya jimbo letu na kanisa ulimwenguni kote Bwana utusikie. Sala kwa ajili ya nchi yetu. Mungu Mwenyezi unaratibu mambo yote kwa hekima. Uwe radhi kupokea maombi yetu tunayo kutolea kwa ajili ya taifa letu. Ili kwa hekima. Okay. atibu mambo yote kwa lengo la usalama wa wote na wawe na uvumilivu kati yao bariki katika mikono yetu ili uchumi wetu uweze kuimarika umaskini na njaa ziweze kuangamizwa bwana utusikie 
<coughs> prayer for the families. Father in heaven, we thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon families. Make them one of the following, the example of the holy family. Give them strength and patience to relate and support one another. Make families the nursery bed of the virtues through good parenting and accompaniment. Give couples grace to forgive and keep together when the trials threaten to pull them apart. Grant them courage, be faithful to each other in obedience to your holy will. May your families be united in you that they may grow in faith and journey together in and truth. We pray to the Lord. Prayer for special needs. Either we told Moto Edi, Najira Yawe Twi Modo Wauge, Nueni Titaniria Na Idue, Nama Fataro Maito Moanya Moanya, Nituago Shokeria Galo, Niodo Awega, Urea Oto Kinyageria, Kuheto Kira Monio, Makani Daya Kuderu. Then ye wa muige wa etikia aku, ne kurena afatari aige ta aroaru, age di, oho, area mare na ngaragu, na age aige. Fafa muega na mutue di, maiguere da o de, na omahi gerie kiriagio de mafata ire, nio doada na ruedoroaku. Reke ona idwe tuenye tithanie nao na mafataro mao. Na tu mate idagie hede shiode. Eta jira ya ugoshokeri ya gado ni odo wa ota na waku. Mwadhani oto idwe. E buwana kwa wema wako. Tunakuomba usikilize maumbi yetu. Na usikilize kwa upole sana sala zetu wakua. Nyenye kevu, kwenjea krisu mwana wetu. Namba tuketi ni wakati wa sala na matolio ya kanisa. Wale amba wana tongoza katika hafla na shukuli hizo. Na kwa ya mtongoze katika nyimbo za sadaka na matolio.
Nazidi kuwa shukuru kwa ukarimu wenu kwa matoleo kwa wale ambao wangetaka kulipa sadaka yao kwa pebi lietu ni 522333 522333 alafu imekwa kwa runinga zetu pebi account ni sadaka pebi ni 522333 asanteni naomba sasa tuweze kusimama sote kwa msafara wa kuleta matoleo <laughs> Thank you. 
salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike na bwana Mungu baba mwenyezi e bwana uvipokee kwa wema vipaji tunavyokutolea ulijalie kanisa lako lililo toka ubavuni mwa Kristu akiwa amekufa msalabani ili kwa kushiriki mafumbo haya lipate daima utakatifu wake kuzudi liwe daima hai na kumtii mwanzilishi wake Yesu Kristu bwana wetu anayeishi na kutawala daima na milele Amen Bwana awe nanyi inueni mioyo Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Ni Kweli ni vema na haki tende la kufana la kuleta wokovu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e Bwana Baba ulie mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele. Maana kwa, m- kwa damu ya mwanao na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu ulipenda kuwakusanya tena kwako 
katika umoja wanao wote ambao hatia ya dhambi iliwapeleka bali nawe nao watu walio walio kusanywa na umoja wa utatu mtakatifu watambuliwe kwa kanisa mwili wa Kristu na hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu kwa sifa ya hekima yako iliyo ya namna nyingi na kwa hiyo pamoja na malaika na watakatifu wote wa mbinguni twakusifu tukiungana kwa ufraha tukisema kwa sauti moja kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumba nawe kina kusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huwaji kuwa kusanya watu kwako ili toke mawili ya jua macho yake dhabihu safi tolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili vitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili vyo kwetu mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. na vivi hivi baada ya kula kitoa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki akawapo wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipe na milele itakayomwagia kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Fumbo la imani
sana tunapoadhimisha ufuko wa, wa mateso ya mwanao yaletayo wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa na roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristu yeye katufanye sisi kwa sadaka mtimilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mme wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako tunakuomba e bana huyu aliyekafara na upatanisho wetu aliyetea maana kwa dunia ni kote upende kulimalisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linasafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtishu na mtumishi wako mtakatifu Francisco askofu wetu Philip pamoja na maaskofu wote wa kilelo wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako usikilize kwa wema sasa jamaa hii uliyoita hapa bila yako e baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote walitowanyika popote duniani wapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliwaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tusibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa jia ya Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa jia yake unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele Tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuse ufanye wako ufike utakalo ufanyike duniani kama mbinguni tupeleke mgacho yetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe sisi leo tukosea uzitie katika kishawishi na kile utuokoe E bwana tunakuomba utuokoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kuema amani maishani mwetu kuzudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala sifaje na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini leo nyeheri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristu. Kwa kuwa ufanyeni wako na Mungu na Yesu Kristu aliyewaambia mitume wako Amani na waachie ni amani yangu na wapa. Usizame dhambi zetu ile tu imani ya kanisa lako. Na upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. 
unaishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amen. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Mpeane amani. kondo wa Mungu tazama yeye ondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao wote walialikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondo e bwana sisi wengine kwa lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itakuwa na mwili wa Kristu unilinde nipate uzima wa milele
here for us.
Kwa moyo wa shukrani na ibada tukimie kidogo tumshukuru Kristu ambaye tumempokea katika mafumo matakatifu. Naomba wanakoa watongoze kwa sala ya sinodi baadaye wimbo wa shukrani. Sala ya novena kwa sherehe familia kama jimbo kuu la Nairobi. E Mungu uliyependezwa kutujalia mwanga unaongaa wa familia takatifu ya Yesu Maria na Yosefu kwa neema yako tujalie kuiga huu mfano tukiishi kwa wema chaji katika nguzo ya Zaisan tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya familia ya jimbo kuu la yetu la Nairobi tukiongozwa mada ya mwaka huu familia yenye umoja thabiti katika imani ikitembea kwa pamoja katika roho na kweli tunakuomba uimarishe familia zote ziwe imara katika neema na amani yako tunakuomba hayo kwa njia ya ya sinodi ewe roho mtakatifu tunasimama mbele yako tunapojumuika pamoja katika jina lako tukiongozwa nawe peke yako tunakukaribisha mioyoni mwetu Tufundishe njia tunayopaswa kwenda na jinsi tunavyopasa kuifuata. Sisi ni dhaifu na wenye dhambi, usituache kamwe tulete machafuko. Usiruhusu kamwe ujinga tuongoze katika njia mbaya au ushawishi matendo yetu. Tunakuomba utuunganishe ndani yako ili tupate kusafiri pamoja tukiuendea uzima wa milele na utusaidie tusipotee kutoka katika njia ya ukweli na haki tunakuomba haya yote wewe ambaye unafanya kazi kila mahali na kila wakati katika umoja wa baba na mwana milele na milele amen tusimame kwa imbo wa shukrani
Tongali tumesimama tumuombe mwashamba baskofu mkuu atuongoze kwa sala baada ya komunio. Natuombe. Bwana baada ya kuburudishwa na sakramenti ya mwanao tunakusihi uzitawishe utendaji kazi wa kanisa lako ambalo kwa njia yake unaendelea daima kuwafunulia maskini ukamilifu wa fumbo la wokovu hawa ambao umewaita kupokea sehemu iliyo bora katika ufalme wako kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu Naomba tuketi kwa muda mfupi na kwa ruhusa yenu mnipe nafasi niwatangazie matangazo mafupi na maelekezo hapa na pale Kwanza kabisa mwaliko wa kipekee na rasmi wa mwashamba baskofu mkuu ya kwamba tarehe sita mwezi wa Septemba atumaweta kwa siku ya Ijumatano kutakuwa na ibada maalum ya kumkumbuka na kumwezi the servant of God Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga ambayo itakuwa ni sherehe ya kuadhimisha miaka ishirini tangu alipoaga dunia na tukizidi kuombea katika hiyo shughuli na hafla yake ya kuwekwa mtakatifu Mme alikuwa nyote tarehe 6 Septemba itakuwa siku ya Jumatano mwaka huu. Tangazo la pili ni kwamba padri wetu wa jimbo letu kuu ambaye ni chaplain wa University ya Jaikwat, padri Professor Lawrence Njoroge ameandika kitabu kizuri na ambacho kinakumbukumbu na historia ya kanisa katoliki nchini Kenya beyond a century of endeavor a history of the catholic church in kenya kitabu hiki kinauzwa hapa na katika hasa daughters of saint paul my sister na pia pale catholic bookshop karibuni mkaweze kununua kitabu hiki pia kuna ofisi maalum ya vijana adn youth office ambao wanauza vitu za zawadi mbalimbali mbali na vitu ambazo zinahitaji kana wakristu pia mekaribishwa katika hema yao kuna barua rasmi ama nakara maalum ya ambayo inachapishwa kila mwaka na ofisi ya matangazo ambayo inaongozwa na father mtangazaji mwenzangu father david njau the door of faith na toleo maalum la mwaka huu ambalo nakala ya 33 inauza kwa shilingi moja na mada yake ni evangelization in diverse fonts na mtaona pale ndani ujume maalum na mahususi kutoka kwa father Simon Nganga na pia father Wallace na mengineyo pia tukikumbu tukionyeshwa kuhusu parokia ya St Joseph the Waka Kirita ambayo inaongozwa na father Stephen Kongo na padri wenzake karibuni ofisi ya uratibu wa kichungaji katika jetu kuu the pastoral office inawaalika viongozi ambao ni wa vikundi vyote pamoja na mapadri wachungaji all the executive leaders of all groups and solidarities together with their chaplains kutakuwa na mkutano maalum arhamisi tarehe 24 mwezi huu katika clergy home ruaraka tunawashukuru captain tv Radio Maria Nairobi na ADN Communications Office kwa kutuletea matangazo moja kwa moja kwa wale ambao hawakuweza kufika. Pia tutakuwa na usinduzi rasmi baada ya kumaliza ibada ya misa wa strategic plan yetu ya Kadao Sezo Nairobi. Boni kazi nzuri imefanywa na kikundi kilichoteuliwa na askofu mkuu kutengeneza strategic plan ambayo inazinduliwa siku ya leo afu baadaye tutakuwa na maelekezo hapa na pale kuhusu mchango na mtoleo wetu kutoka parokia na dekania zetu zote kwa njia kipekee tunawashukuru umangu dinari hasawa na kwaya PMC na youth umefanya vizuri umefanya sherehe yetu ibambe tuwapigie makofi mangu dinari 
kwa hakika leo mmekuja Nairobi na tumeona mmekuja kwa kishindo Asanteni sana eh, pia Father Irenge na timu yako yote kutoka dekania ya Mangu Asanteni sana kwa hakika mmejenga mme, siku yetu ikafurahika sana Tukiendelea kwa matangazo ni kwamba mapadre kutoka Western Dinari na Eastern Dinari wanaomba kufanya mikutano kwa maana hawana din au vice din hizo dekania mbili Western Dinari na Eastern Dinari hao mapadre wanaomba kufanya mikutano uh, extraordinary dinari meetings niweza kupatia kwenye ofisi ya askofu mkuu ikifikia tarehe 21 mwezi wa nane kwa huu mwaka majina ya mapadre watatu ambao kutoka kwao kutakuwa na din na vice din tuombe mapadre kutoka western dinari kule ambapo father omondi alikuwa eastern dinari kule ambapo father karisa alikuwa wapadre waweza kukufanya mikutano ni wapeane majina kwa ofisi ya askofu mkuu kufikia tarehe 21 mwezi wa nane. Kwa unyenyekevu mkubwa ni muombe mwashamu askofu David Kamau kwa maelekezo na hotuba fupi. Tusivi Yesu Kristo na Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati basi hii ndio siku aliyoifanya bana wa Kristo apenzi ninasikia furaha nyingi kwa sababu nikiangalia kuna umati nafikiri eh, siku ya leo family day ya mwaka huu kweli watu wamekuja kumekujwa sasa eh kama kila mmoja katika ujimbo la Nairobi ako hapa yule ambaye yuko hapa pengine anahitaji kwenda kwa maungamo kwa sababu sasa kila mmoja yuko hapa basi langu ni kuwashukuru na hii inaonyesha kwamba tunajifunia kanisa letu katoliki tunajifunia imani yetu na tunajifunia jimbo letu tunasema kwamba watu ambao wanasali pamoja wanafanya nini watu ambao wanasali pamoja wanakaa pamoja na hayo haitoshi hata watu wanakula pamoja wanakaa pamoja nayo matumaini father simon naye ametengeneza kitu ya kula ili tukae pamoja basi najua tuna wageni wa metutembelea kwanza najua kutunao mapadri wametuma kutoka njimbo balibali najua naona fala fala kaladi toka nakuru huyo anafala kaladi kutoka na kumpigia ni makofi najua najua nakuru kwa sababu ni mimi ni bishop uh, administrator emeritus wanakuru eh <laughs> basi juu kama kuna padri mwingine ametumwa na askofu wake asimame fala <laughs> edward molo akutoka kitui ako upande gani ah kwa pale Asante sana fala Edward na upeleke ujumbe wetu kwa askofu wa Kitui. Tunaye father Njue ah, sio kadino Njue sasa. <laughs> Lakini father Njue kutoka military. Yuko upande ah pale. <laughs> Basi upeleke ujumbe wetu huko. Kuna fadha mwingine secretary anajua ah, hao wengine wanakuja basi kutoka hapo tunaye 
askofu askofu kutoka huko upande wa Wangongo katika umbala wa askofu Wangongo ako hapa na ningetaka kuashia na familia ndio yako ikifika also shall be village because you shall come there basi tunaye askofu hasa kone hizi na ngine siwezi ku pronounce kama asomo ku tunaye askofu hasan kone kutoka sam diocese ya mali basi unaona family day wakati ni international eh wametoka bali eh basi sisi kama tuna wageni wengine kwa hivyo hao wageni wageni wa Kristo mjisikie nyumbani na mjisikie mmekaribishwa asante sana basi wale experts wako pale na liturgy ameniambia sasa nichukue jukumu na kumwalika mkubwa wangu eh askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo kama ana jambo la kusema amekaribishwa leo pengine atakuwa na wakati mwingine watu wakianza kuongea pesa mambo ya pesa mambo ya kaisari basi pengine watajanganyikiwa Hivyo askofu mkuu kama una jambo la kusema karibu <laughs> Jambo la kusema kweli wapendo wa Mungu ni furaha tu ni furaha tu kwa hivyo basi nawashukuru sana kwa siku hii ambayo tumewezesha kuja pamoja kuonyesha m- mfano ya kwamba sisi ni familia moja ya Kikristo na familia hii misingi, misingi yake ni familia ndogo ndogo nuclear familia za huko nyumbani Mungu anavyotubariki hapa kwa jumla anabariki, anabariki pia familia za misingi za huko nyumbani na hivyo basi tuombe hata katika harakati hizo Mungu aweze kupatia kisha hata taifa letu kuna misangomano kwa maneno kwa mawazo na kwa matendo kwa nini lakini ya kwamba viongozi wetu wamekubali ya kwamba waweze wakakaa pamoja waongee let them talk about us not about themselves sasa waongee juu yetu because we are the people we are the Kenyans kwa basi tutawaomba sana ya kwamba wakiongea they talk we in our interest not their own interest na hivyo ndio kwamba Mungu aweze kubariki pia taifa letu ambalo sahihi misongamano ni mingi katika mambo hayo lakini najua hapa tumekuja kuomba ya kwamba Mungu awe ndiye ngao yetu awe ndiye mumba wetu sisi wote tuweze kutambua ule umungu wake ndio tu ya watoto wake sisi wote kwa hivyo asante sana Ya basi nilikaribishwa kumbe kusema pena Saidi. Na la kwanza ni ili e, ni kufahamu kuwafahamisha yafuatayo. Ya kwamba newly created parishes are life. And the following are the newly created parishes since last year Family Day. Family Day tulitangaza zingine leo tunatangaza zingine. Ya kwanza Saint Raphael Kabete Parish situated in Kabete. Ya pili ni Mary Maclet Kumura Parish in Ruiru. Ninaomba sana wale wa Raphael Kabete kama wako spameni. Inuka nyanyukeni. Tuwapigie makofi. Oh. Yeah. Father, Father in charge. 
na mumba vyombo vyake vya utunzaji wa Kristu wa Mungu vyombo vya ibada ya misa na sakramenti father karibu father father edwin hunja edwin hunja uh, the first uh, and the founder father in charge saint rafael kabet mpige makao father Allahu akizu wa Kamura simameni tuone Kamura Kamura Mary Macleod Kamura Parish Parokia ya Mary Macleod Kamura tafadhali msimame tukapigie makofi fadha wanyoike na fadha Michael Kivatu wanapokea saduku la misa tupigie makofi vizuri Asante ni sana Kwa basi watakao fuata ni St Francis Mwihoko Parish in Kidurai walikuwa kwenye parokia ya Gedrai Christ the King chini ya Father Kinodia sasa ni parokia St Francis Mwihoko chini ya Father Daktari Mahusi tumpigie makao Father Mahusi pamoja na Padre Evaristus wanapokea sanduku la misa kule parokia St Francis of Assisi Mwihoko alafu Hatima oh za atima ni kwamba tunaye divine mercy Kenyatta Road Parish in Ruiru Father ni Father Paul Padre Paul Nganga ambaye alikuwa mwalimu kule kwenye Apostles sasa amepoa parokia sasa ni baba paroko anabidi apande juu kwa sababu yeye ni mrefu sana Asante sana Father Paul Parokia Divine Mercy Kenyatta Road Akiwa na Shemasi ambaye anatusomea injili siku ya leo. Asante sana anamkabidhi Shemasi ya mbebe. Kwa basi tumpigie makofu yeye. Asante sana Father Paul. Hizi ametafika uko na commit kwa as tall as the one who is standing here <laughs> na itakuwa huko. Basi oh, ni parokia nyingine our lady of consolata maziwa ambayo Father Kristo Father tupigie Father Kristo makofi So my people of God I want to read to you the following decree Kanisa lina maamuzi yake kupitia kwa njia za decree maamuzi ambayo yanajisaidia kuweza kufanya kazi ya maji kulingana na parokia ambazo zimesha sasa eh, undua kuzaliwa I most reverend Philip Anyolo Metropolitan Bishop of Nairobi Archdiocese having consulted the Presbyterian Council and the College of Consultors of this Archdiocese do hereby create Kabete Dinari which which will encompass the following territorial boundaries parishes holy trinity catholic parish kileleshwa ebusimameni hope trinity holy trinity parish kileleshwa wako uh, saint catherine of siena catholic parish kitusuru Wasimame pamoja na mapadri wa parokia hizo. Consolata Shrine Parish Westlands. St Austin Catholic Parish Msongari. St Joseph Catholic Parish Kangemi. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Catholic Parish Ridgeways. And St Raphael Catholic Parish Kabete. Kabete Tinari Dinari will be separated from the current central dinari which encompasses Holy Family Minor Basilica St Paul University Chapel uh, Chapel Parish Our Lady Queen of Peace Catholic Parish South B St Catherine of Alexandria Catholic Parish South C St Peter Clever's Catholic Parish Shrine of Mary Help of Christians Upper Hill and St Francis Xavier Parklands 
the need to separate Kabete Parish from Central Dinari has been necessitated by the growing number of Christians and parishes in this recent past. The potentiality in the area of Gabete Tinari, Dinari and Central Dinari is immense and if utilized well, they will grow in faith and develop us uh, holistically. The division will also ensure effective pastoral care and efficient communication to all parishes and brotherly care of one another with the priests and religious and the Christians who are there, pastoral reasons. So given the chancery of the Archdiocese of Nairobi on this date, 12th day of August 2023, and signed by me. <laughs> Philip Agnolo, most reverend Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi Metropolitan. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And uh, signed also with the Chancellor of the, uh, the Archdiocese, uh, Reverend Father George Mungai. George Mungai is around. Must be seen. Okay. Thank you to the Chancellor. Thank you. Asante Nisana, I want to wish the new arrivals, all, all well, all good. Walk with God, walk with Christ, and in Christ, walk by faith and trust your work. So God bless you, thank you. Toazidi kufuraia neema ya muu kwa maana sasa idadi ya parokia kwenye jimboku ni miyamoja kuminatisa, 119 parishes, Nema ya mungu Nazo dekania ambao tuko nazo tumekuwa na kumina ine Sani kumina tano dekania au dinner race Kwa jili ya hii dinner liumpia ya kabete Tuambewa wapadi wa hizo parokia ambao zimetajwa Consolata Shrain Westlands Hore Trile Tekile Reshwa Parokia St. Joseph Kangemi St. Austin Ridgeways St. Raphael Na St. Catherine Spring Valley Waombo pia waweze kukutana Na waweze kuwa na majina matatu Ambo wapilaki ofisi ya skofu mkuu Kufikia tarehe 20 na moja muwezi wa nane Ni waweze kupata din wao wa kwanza Na pia vice din Tuwombo waweze kukutana tafadhali Ni waweze kutimiza lengo hilo Basi kwa wakati huu Tuweza kusimama tupeta baraka ya kumalizia ibada ya misa. Tusimame tafadhali. Tuinamishe vichwa vietu tupate baraka. Bwana we nanyi Bwana wabariki na kualinda Awangazie nuri ya uso wake na kuwafadhili Awainulie uso wake Na kuwapa amani yake Amina. Na baraka yake mungu mwenyezi Ya baba na mwana Na roo mtakatifu Iwa shukia na kukana nyidaima Nende ni namani Muki mtuku za mungu kwa maisha yenu.
Mama tusangilie dinari ya mangu Tuongoza vizuri sana Shukuru Father swa hiyo dinari wote kwa kazi njema viongozi wote na parokia zote thank you so much kwa huduma yenu kwa siku ya leo Tuwafurahia wanayudhi wetu kwa njia kubwa ni sehemu kubwa ya familia kwa uongozi wake Father Vicky na Father Domi wasikia majina ni ya vijana Father Vicky na Father Domi ambao wameongoza youth ya diocese kwa njia kubwa sadiana sale na wale wengine toka hizo kitengo kuna presentation moja kutoka dekania ya Lipo parokia ya Ngarariga Mada yake ni familia wajibu wa watoto na wazazi kusameheana kutekeleza kila mtu wajibu wake na hasa kwa njia kubwa wazazi kwa kielelezo cha kusameheana ndio familia iweze kushikana tuwakaribisha ngarariga our lady mount camel mweze basi kuleta tumuizo lenu tamasha hii ambao kweli atuelimisha kwa mada kuu ya huu mwaka a united family strong in faith Journeying together in spirit and in truth. Karibuni wanayudhu wetu. Tukio kibo karibisha mkijipanga. Tunawashukuru mapadri katika parokia hii angarariga. Father Agustin Kihoro na Father Charles Washira kwa kazi nzuri. Mwana ozidi kuifanya. Karibuni parokia ya angarariga. Our Lady of Mount Kamo. Haya e, haya e, haya haya, haya haya, haya e, haya e, haya haya, haya haya. Oyo ne mosiye wa kama to ikara na da yo, to tare na ro me na to ni tale ira, to ru te ma we. Yeah, I'll take care of it. 
Tuwafraia sana wanayuthu mkiwakilisha wale wengine wote kwenye jimbo letu Vema hiyo madayenu ya kazi Kuchitolea kwa njia zote na kueka imani Taingia saa kwa hotuba fupi 
Ya kwanza ni mwalike kutoka pastor office. The pastor coordinator in the archdiocese, Father Wallace Nganga. Hii office wafanya kazi sana. Na Father Mwenzake msaidizi wake, Father James Kenodhi Anjao mtangazaji mwenzangu. Niyome saa Father Wallace, kwaribishe bada hapo, utampisha Father Simon, procurator archdiocese of Nairobi. Karibu Father Wallace, archdiocese pastor coordinator. Uh, your Grace, Philip Anyoro, Archbishop of the Metropolitan of Archdiocese of Nairobi, your Rodeship, Bishop David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop, your Eminence, John Cardinal Njue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi, uh, Bishop Obara, a Bishop of Gong, Bishop Hassa, the Bishop of San Dasis in Mari, uh, my uh, brother priests, religious men and women, our uh, Christo Wate, Tumsi for Jesus Christo. God is good, and all the time. Mutaniruhusu niseme kwa machache kwa sababu mengi tumeweka katika uh, kitabu abacho tumeelezwa the door of faith kwa hivyo yangu itakuwa kwa kifupi nuhusu nitumie lugha ya Kiingereza but as we gather today to celebrate this year's family day we extend our heartfelt gratitude to God for the manifold pastoral accomplishments we have achieved. In our unwavering commitment to fulfill the divine command bestowed upon us by our Lord Jesus Christ to spread the gospel to all corners, as we hear from Matthew 20, 28, we have witnessed as a diocese significant progress in pastoral field. And reflecting back to our gathering last year, as His Grace has just mentioned, our diocese, we had 115 parishes, but today we rejoice and are happy that as He has declared together now, we have 119 parishes after the new recreated four parishes, and we need to give ourselves a clap for that. And furthermore, there exists promising horizon with potential stations and back for future elevation to parish status. A dedicated committee mandated by Archbishop has been diligently assessing and presenting reports to the Presbyteral Council on these potential churches deserving parochial recognition. And with that, we are also happy that last year we met as 14 denaries and today, as we live this celebration, we have now 115 denaries. So from, one, from 14 to 15 denaries. And we need also to give a clap for that. Uh, within the context of fostering vocation, our vocation office has been instrumental in nurturing the next, to the next generation of shepherds. And the commencement of this year, we witnessed the ordination of three priests with additional seven deacons who are anticipating the ordination to priesthood. Notably, we are eagerly awaiting the ordination to priesthood. And uh, we also are happy to welcome 16 aspirants who will be, who have joined the seminary this month, expanding our number of seminarians to 74. Do we need to clap because of that? So our prayers extend to the three to the three seminarians who are currently on their pastoral year as we correctly encourage more young men and women to hear the call of priesthood and religious vocation. The pursuit of our acquisition vision and mission has been underpinned by the odious endeavors of each department. We take pride 
in the creation of two more departments since our last year's family day. First, we have the family life department, a cornerstone for promoting and safeguarding family values, counseling the families amid the many challenges they are, they are encountering, particularly in the limb of mental health. Secondly, we have the Office of Institutes of Consecrated Life and Societies of Apostolic Life, so as to facilitate harmonious collaboration between the religious entities within the archdiocese and the, the broader ecclesiastical community. Um, my, your grace, my Lord Bishops, my dear priests, religious men and women, and my faithful, in the realm of governance, this year we have witnessed a profound ecclesiastical undertaking. The church leadership erections is an exercise that we all partook in, distinguished by the harmonious implementation of both at the diocese and national level. These elections adhered closely to the guidelines issued by the Bishop Commission for Pastoral and Lay Apostolate. from the bishops to ensure adherence to the stipulated guidance. It is with a sense of responsibility that we announce the, the successful conclusion of these elections accompanied by the harding of our ceremonies from the small Christian community levels to the archdiocese level. And we are proud that everything went on well. We give ourselves a good clap for that excess that happened. Uh, a collective, uh, we say that a collective responsibility is extended to elected leaders with foreign prayer for their embodiment to be servant leaders, adhering to the pastoral guidelines and upholding the principles that guided the whole process. Central to our aspiration, the Archdiocese of Nairobi has meticulously crafted a strategic plan 2023-2027, which will be launched shortly after this. This collaborative effort encompasses participation of all stakeholders from small Christian communities to their station, parishes, deaneries, and to the diocese level. As we launch the strategic plan today, we request for continued involvement of all stakeholders in its comprehensive implementation. Stepping forward beyond our immediate boundaries, my dear friends, the annual National Prayer Day, orchestrated by the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, beckons to our attention, shared with every first Saturday of October, dedicated to the month of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This year's event will be animated by Nairobi Metropolitan. We proudly embrace our role as torchbearers as Archdiocese of Nairobi, where we have requested to mobilize more than 7,000 faithful from this diocese to go and attend these celebrations. Let us mobilize as many Christians as possible to attend, responding to the call. Again, our parishes have been requested by our local ordinary to contribute to support the development of Subukia National Shrine through having a second correction. Let us all support the shrine generously. But amid our accomplishments, we must acknowledge that we have encountered challenges we get electable since our last Catherine. We have mourned the loss of six, six esteemed priests. And I request that we all have a moment of silence and remember the six departed priests from our archdiocese. To Nyamaze Kidogo, to Akumbuke Hauma Padre Tafadari. Eternal is granted to them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Eternal is granted to them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Eternal is granted to them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. As we correctly remember and pray for their souls, we yearn for their eternal repose and cherish their dedicated service as pastoral agents. As I conclude, that as we mark this day as a united family, 
let us reaffirm our commitment to supporting one another as integral members of our Kidazian community. Guided by our shepherd's wisdom, a theme which resonates, a united family, strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and truth. A profound debt of gratitude is on to esteemed read the readership of our this diocese, his grace, Archbishop Anyoro, his lordship, Bishop David Kamau, and the Archbishop Emeritus, his eminence John Kandinoy Joy. Our prayers, may they perpetually ascend, beseeching God's blessings, protection, and above all, her best health for them. With the profound thanks, I wish you all God's blessings as we continue serving him in the vineyard. Asante ni sana na mungu awabariki. Makofi mazuri kwa mratibu wa shuguri za kichungaji katika jimbole tuku, Father Wallace Nganga, kazi nzuri ya munafanya katika ofisi hiyo katika kazi ya kichungaji. I will now take this opportunity to welcome my brother, our finance administrator, who will take us into the brief of the financial uh, status of Akdasis and then to the launch of the strategic plan. Karibu, Father Simon. Padre Simon Nganga, ambaye di procurator na finance administrator wa jimbo letu kuwa na fanya kazi pamoja na Padre Sami Wairera na Padre Peter Njogo na Kiarie. Karibu, Father Simon Nganga, our financial administrator and procurator, take us through. Thank you very much, Father Kinodia, Your Grace, Your Eminence, my Lord Bishops, my brothers in priesthood, religious men and women, and my brothers and sisters in Christ. God is good, God and all the time. Allow me to make a brief presentation concerning the temporal goods of the church. And I want to start by saying, deriving from our Family Day's theme, a united family strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and truth, I have chosen to make this presentation following this theme, sustainable resource mobilization and utilization. One of the major concerns in any organization is the availability of sustainable resources to ensure the institution meets its obligations or objectives. The Archdiocese of Nairobi, through her visionary leadership, diligent clergy, and committed lay faithful, has ensured continuous resource mobilization, cost management, and investment in various portfolio to optimize on her growth and development and quality service delivery. It is important to note that one of the key thematic areas or strategic issues in the Archdiocese of Nairobi strategic plan 2023-2027, which as further indicated will be launched today, is sustainable resource mobilization and utilization. This is the Shule ya Maria Mtakatifu eneo la Amsongari Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi ini sherehe ya ibada takatifu ya misa sherehe ya siku ya kifamilia katika eh, Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi ambalo kweli idadi ya parokia ambazo na kumina zimegawanywa wakati dekania 14 mwashamu askofu mkuu Arnold Philip ametangaza kuundwa kwa dekania nyingine ambayo itafikisha idadi ya dekania katika jimbo hili kuu kuwa 15 ni ugatuzi wa huduma za kichungaji na uongozi wa watu wa Mungu kati ya wengi ambao wametusindikiza katika uh, sherehe ya leo na kutakia jimbo kuu heri na baraka ni baba mmoja ambaye ni wa ni wa, ni wa shirika la Patches Insurance karibu baba tell us uh, introduce yourself tell us your name and uh, what do you stand for Thank you. Um, my name is Francis Kianga, and I'm the head of retail business for Purchase Insurance Company, uh, which is the 
faith-based insurance company in this country and owned by the Catholic Church. Yes. When was it started and how do you pronounce your name? Some people have a difficulty in pronouncing your name. How do you pronounce it officially? Thank you. Uh, the company was started in the year 2005. Interestingly, we are 18 years today, um, this year, and it's pronounced as Pachis. Age is silent and it's also missing. So, but it's Pachis Insurance Company. It's a Latin word meaning peace. Yes. What does Pachi stand for for someone who may not have come across your services? Yes, we, we provide insurance solutions and we are all over this country. We have seven branches and we are actually next to the country. In Nairobi, we are on Wayaki Way, the head office as Pachi Center and in, uh, at the Cardinal Tunga uh, Plaza in, in Nairobi. We are also in Thika, we are in Mombasa, we have a branch in Meru, Nakuru, Endoret, Kisumu, Kakamega and Embu and uh, Bugoma. So we are everywhere in this country. Yes. For someone who is looking for you here in the grounds, what are they expecting and where are you found? Thank you. Uh, for the visitors today who are in this ground, we have a tent uh, within this compound and we are happy to be here because we are part of the children of this family. So we participated as family members and we have a tent and our tent is flooded with a lot of members and a lot of visitors are visiting our tent because we are providing solutions, interesting uh, consultancy is happening at the tent as we speak and a lot of people are visiting and asking questions about risk management and we are providing that solution. We have members of staff at our tent as, as we speak. Someone may be asking themselves, why purchase? What do you stand uh, for different from other insurance uh, companies like uh, others? Of course, we know them. What others that you stand for? Our vision says we want to be the icon of trust and reliability. We are really trusted and uh, a lot of clients who have come to us from the last first day to where now we are 18 years old. Uh, with the volumes of close to 2 billion, a lot of clients have trusted us and they have kept building and referring a lot of people to us because we stand by our word, we pay our claims, and we provide consultancy and we do extra uh, mile to advise our customers on what to do on financial solutions. Yes. In these economic, economic times, you know, the challenges of uh, economic uh, uh, times here, someone may be asking themselves there at home, why do I have to insure? What should I insure? When times are hard is when we need to make the right decisions. And when times are hard is when uh, the devil also takes over and a lot of challenges come to our societies. And we are st saying this is the time to take risks and to insure your property so that should anything happen or should a risk arise, you have somebody you can talk to uh, for peace uh, for peace in life. And we are provided that solution. And a lot of clients who are on, on boarded with us, they are very happy. With, uh, whenever a risk appears or happens, we are always there to support. Yes. 18 years in service, what, what are you proud of looking back and, what, and, and looking forward? What, have you, what can you say, these are your, your successes? And looking, uh, looking forward, what plans do you have for your people, especially here in the Archdiocese and in the country? Very good question. Um, 18 years ago, when we were starting, we started very small. I'm imagining the first year we did 12 million in terms of premium. We have grown up to last year where we closed 1.9 billion. And now we are going past 2 billion and our target is to do 3 billion. And by next year, we'll be the only faith-based insurance company doing 5 billion in this, in this country. And given that we are now spread all over the country, there's a lot of call and people are calling that we need to move closer to our people. Remember, we started as one office and now I'm talking about 10 offices and we are still growing and expanding as a company and we are very proud of this and the support for Nairobi Archdiocese we have all our partners remember this is a family and all our partners are here all our relatives are insured with us to provide risk management and insurance solutions and within Archdiocese of Nairobi we cannot complain we are very happy and we are moving deeper to identify where have we left gaps and what can we do to accommodate everybody within the Archdiocese Yes. Thank you so much for that input and uh, probably your last word to those who may still be looking for you around the country and here in Nairobi. Yes, um, we are available. Um, you can reach us through our website www.purchaseinsurance.com. We are also available on uh, um, on uh, if, if, if you if you use your phone if you are using your phone and you you put star 620 ash you'll go in there and you purchase all products and you get all the communication there we are also available at our head office on Wayaki way at Paji center
um, Cardinal Tunga Plaza, and we, we are available across the country. And we should be there even on Facebook as Pages Insurance. So people are ready to talk to us, and we are available. Yes. Wish you all the best, and uh, good luck in your work. Thank you. Thank you, and we are happy to be here as family members. We have a lot of brothers here, relatives, and uh, we are meeting as a family for Nairobi, and we are very excited because one year ago we were here, but we have grown in size and volume. Uh, we have expanded, and we expect by next year because we have also added weight as a company. And you'll find in some of the spaces we are in, we are, they are getting smaller. Naguru will be moving to a bigger space by next year. Uh, early, early actually next month we'll be moving to a bigger space in Akuru because we have grown in size and we cannot fit in the small rooms so we are expanding and we are ready to grow even other branches and expand our network in this country. Remember it is the only faith-based insurance company in Kenya and we want to go global uh, so that everybody can come on board and we are excited to be here as part of this family. It is African. You call family together, and we are here with our brothers and the sisters and all our relatives are around this compound, and we are excited to meet each other. Thank you. Capuchin TV is proud to be associated with Patches Insurance. Patches, not passes. Patches, yes. Patches Insurance, we wish you all, uh, them all the best as they partner with us in evangelization efforts here in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, here in Kenya, and uh, around all their branches countrywide. We are still at uh, Hossein Mary's uh, grounds here in Songari as the of Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi marks its annual family day. And uh, as you have heard from the uh, His Grace Archbishop, uh, uh, is still growing. And ni uh, kukua and katika ujumbe wake mheshimiwa um, askofu uh, David Kamau kwamba jimbo linaendelea kukua na ujumbe wake pia uh, mratibu wa mipango ya kichungaji Father Lawrence uh, uh, Wallis Njoroge ni kwamba uh, kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu inaendelea kudumishwa katika jimbo hili tunakutakia utazamaji mwema na katika uh, matangazo yafuatayo basi tunawashukuru wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya moja kwa moja siku ya uh, kifamilia kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi iliongozwa na mheshimiwa Shamu Askofu Mkuu Philip Anyolo bado kuna uh, uh, ku, 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 kuzindua upya mpango wa kichungaji wa miaka mitano tofuatilia sehemu hiyo kabla ya kurudisha studio basi tufuatilie katika uhu eh, kuzindua ama uzinduzi wa uh, mpango wa kichungaji kwenye jimbo hili kuu dakika zijazo halafu utakurudisha studio Mungu bariki This formulation of the strategic plan was appointed representing the clergy, religious men and women that the Director can take the serious and risky decision for our women. The team was guided by a team of professionals and they are here. I request them to uh, start Professor Kibira and James Mbudia. These are, these are from Promin Consultancy Limited and that is a firm that helped us to work on this strategic plan. Let's give them a hearty clap. Thank you very much, you can be seated. And in this, we dealt with these key questions which we address in this strategic plan. What is the purpose of the Archdiocese? Who are our stakeholders and what is the value to these stakeholders? Where are we now and where do we want to be in the next five years? How will we get there and how much it will cost us? And then we ask ourselves, how will we know that we have arrived there? To answer these questions, we have clarified after a serious evaluation the vision of the Archdiocese, our mission, we have indicated our core values as an Archdiocese, we carried out situational analysis so that we can be able to know what are our strengths, our weaknesses, our opportunities, and even threats. We carried also an analysis in terms of our environment to know the risks that are surrounding us or how we are exposed, and in this, we were using this methodology. We carried out interviews from our bishops, the heads of department, and other stakeholders. We circulated questionnaires from the clergy and the lay faithful in our various dinners and among the religious men and women. And various plenaries were organized where reports were presented, discussed in our clergy meetings, because also we collected a lot of information from the clergy. And now we have the final report. 
This is very clear. It presents the history and organizational structure of the Archdiocese. It has addressed five key thematic areas or strategic goals, that is new evangelization and ongoing formation, governance and management practices, information and emerging technologies, sustainable resource mobilization and utilization, and lastly, family life. That document captures 13 objectives and strategies. We have also indicated the implementation matrix and then the human capacity and human establishment that is required and even coordination mechanisms. We have also dealt with the budget to support the implementation of the entire strategic plan for the next five years. Then we have indicated how will we know that we have carried out this exercise as per the intention and we will carry out monitoring and evaluation and the relevant performance tools are indicated. We thank all those who participated in this entire process of formulating this strategic plan, and we say, may God bless you. Now that we have this strategic plan, for the next five years, we have a clear roadmap to fulfill our mission as an archdiocese. This strategic plan can be cascaded in our dinners and even in our parishes to ensure we are able to meet our objectives and even the strategic goals. Let us work together as a people of God for the common good and for the greater glory of God. At this juncture now, with total humility, I invite uh, His Grace to launch now the strategic plan. I humbly request you that you go down together with your Lordship so that you can be able to launch this particular a strategic plan. Makofi Mazuri Kwake, Father Simon Nganga, our procurator, and I also request uh, the team of experts, Ambao Walifanya Kazin Zuri, Pamoja Namapadi, Nawalei, Ambao Waliketi, uh, Chairman Wakraji, Father Martin Kimama, Pia, Mapadri Wengi, Pamoja Namasista, Nawalei, Waliketi, Ukule Nakuru, Team of experts wakatengeneza his strategic plan yetu ambayo sasa tunaizindua rasmi siku ya leo mnaona pahala ambapo wanaelekea kuna mataya na waka na tuashangilia kwa pamoja kutoka tano kwanza nakata utepe kabla ya ufunguzi rasmi tupige makofi kwa ke mwashamba baskofu anapokata utepe ba usinduzi rasmi Amako fitena. Sasa kwa uzunuzi rasmi tuene pamoja. Tano. Ine. Tatu. Bili. Moja makofi shangwe na vigeregele ya napozindu wa rasmi. Wafuraha tunaona the Akdaosezo Narobi Strategic Plan 2023 to 2027. Na shukuru mwenyezi mungu and the team of experts pamoja na mapadli na walei amba waliketi. Kwa ni yabayetu wakazinua na kuandika vizuri. Ambao ni muongozo wajimbo letuku kwa miaka hiyo mitano inayokuja. Na juwa likifanya kazi kuba sana. Na sasa anakabidhiwa Father Simon Nganga na mkabidhi rasmi Askofu mkuu hiyo kazi ambao tulifanya Masa mingi ya katumika Tumbigi ya makofi Tena This will be our guide in the next five years Kwa miaka mitano takuwa na mongozo Na mipango ambayo na pahala mafu tunataka kufika Katika hiyo miaka mitano Na mwaja wapo najua ya mambo ambao tulikuwa tumetaja ni uweza kukaribia wa kristu na watu wa mungu kwa parokia kuziongezeke mambo ya mito. Ndiyo hiyo tunaonyeshwa na skofu mkuu tushangilie. Anainua juu kidogo ili tuweze kuyona na wapiga picha wako pare tayari. Pia na mkabidhi mwashamba ba skofu kamau David. Sante sana, yu picha yu eki vizuri kwa kumbu kumbu. Ya tuwama wa askofu wa mwa mekuja kwa sherezetu kutoka jimo zingine na wakilishi wao waje wapewe na kala. Watafuatiwa. 
na wakilishi wa secretariat niombe father owales baada ya maaskofu na mafadha mao wakisha jimbo zao tukaje kidogo ndio askofu father edward mulwa tafadhali kutoka kitu ipi ya tunakaribisha yes the bishop from mali is being guided to come here bigie askofu jirani kutoka jimbo la ngong makofi yamepokea padri mwakilishi kutoka jimbo la nakuru Padre mwakilishi kutoka Jimbo la Kitui pia anakabidhiwa na kala yake Utaoma Father Kiari Education Office Father Kiari Finance Office na Father Sami waje wapatiwe kwa niaba ya Secretariat Pamoja pia tunamwalika chansela wetu Father George Mongai pia ukaribie Karibu Father George Na pia tunaomba mwashaba baskofu pia mkabidhi Father Simon Nganga hata yeye Father P Father Kerry Francis Education Office Father Peter Kerry ndio mabazuo wa Jimbo Father Sami Sandy sana Father George Mungai, Father Simon Nganga, Sante sana. Goje ya picha, Father Simon. Kwa vizuri goje ya picha, Sante. Chancellor ndia nafuata, Father George. Ndiyo kisha tuende kwa chairman, kwa mapadre wa Jimbo Letu, Father Martin. Tuna omba pia. Walei, viongozi, moderator wa Jimbo. Tuna omba wajiandae au viongozi. Niombe deans wote deans tafadhali wa dekania 14 ya 15 watapatiwa baadaye Deans tafadhali tuje tupokee nakala zetu all the deans tafadhali Nao na pale wanaongozwa na Father Dean kutoka Mango Father Peter Irenge Asante sana mmejipanga vilivyo. Tupigie fadha Irenge makofi ametuongoza kwa njia mulwa kabisa siku ya leo. Walikuwa wamekuja Nairobi sasa tuko Kabete Dinari. Mara moja. Naona pale fadha Mauki ambaye amekuwa Vice Dean kule Western sasa anaenda Kabete. Asante sana kwa kazi nzuri. Mwona Father Moses Memia Dini kule kikuyu Wakimaya tuombe moderator wa CMA katika jimboletu Moderator wa CW katika jimboletu Moderator wa YCA na wa YSC Hawa ine Na moderator wa Western Dina Rita Fadhali CW moderator wa diocese CMA moderator wa diocese YC moderator kwa diocese YSC kwa youth moderator Zile za sambazwa kwetu kwa njia mbali mbali Lakini kwa pia mwisho kupiano itapelekewa mwadhama kardinali wetu kwenye kitichake Pale amekaa Hame tuongoza kwa ya mambo Tuomba askofu mkuu Aweza kupelekea mwadhama kardinali wetu Na kala yake pale Naomba pia Father Simon Mkabidi Father Njau Akikisha ya kwamba Pia tayeye Kwa kitengo cha Communications, apigwe picha hapo, akipua na Father Simon, sante sana. Na unibebeko piyago, sante.
Tumualike pia sasa Fadha Saimu anaendele atuambie tumefanya vipi kutoka parokia kwa kazi nzuri ya kusupport jimbo letu kwa matoleo our financial contributions. Tachukua muda mfupi sana Fadha Saimu anakiongea tujiandae vema tutakumalizia mapema siku ya leo tulivyofanya kwenye ratiba ya leo. Fadha Saimu baada yake tutapeana ratiba vile tutafuatana. Karibu Fadha Saimon. So thank you very much Father Jao. We are going now to award the various parishes that made their contributions. We invite all the deans to come forward and the leadership of the, every parish the dean will be the, our MCs will be calling the parish together with the leaders to receive a certificate from the bishops. And then after that, you only have three categories of award after that. We award the early limiters, the first, second, and third. We are going to award those who have exceeded their contributions, the first three. And the last three, we are going to award the three dinaries that actually have made the greatest contribution. And therefore, those are the only categories. I invite now Father Jao to start with the central dinary. So the parishes for the central dinner, we can have the leaders coming forward, and we invite the dean to make, the, the MC to make the announcement. Kwa hivata kama tumepata dinari ingine kutoka central dinner, kwa wakati mtakuwa kwa pamoja. Tutawamba fathers in charge, wakiongoza wa dini wao, wajonge hapa, o mafathers wote wa iyo dekania, central dinner, na executive parokia. Tuawamba tuharakishe kidogo, jotuweze. Parokia hizo ni Holy Family Basilica, Consolata Shrine Westerns, Kileleshwa Holy Trinity, St. Austin Msongari, St. Brother Savior Parklands, Our Lady Queen of Peace South B, Spring Valley St. Catherine, St. Paul's University Chapel, uh, St. Peter Clever Riscos, Don Bosco Upper Hill, St. Catherine of Sea of Alexandria South Sea, uh, Regis Our Lady of the Rosary, uh, and St. Raphael Kabete. Executive Aizo Parokia, na mafadha sawa Aizo Parishi Centro Dinali, ambao imegawanywa siku ya leo, ni wakati wa mwisho mkiwa kwa pamoja, mkaribia hapo. Walikuwa mewapewa kiwango cha kutoa pesa takriba ni milioni arubane, na wametoa 40 milioni. Tuwapigia makofi Centro Dinali. Uh, you are located 40 million, you have contributed 40 million. Amuku punguza, amuku ongeza. Tuna pongeza nyinyi asanteni. Makofi tena kwa centro. Na mwalika mwashamba baskofu mku. Na mwalika baba baskofu mku, aweze kwa kabidi, cheti, natukua kongera. Holy Family Basilica. Padri, kama moe pamoja na viongozi, muna chukua. Holy Trinity haraka. Parish Kirileshwa. St. Francis Xavier Parish. St. Peter Crevas. Tuko hapa bado katika uwanja wa shule ya St. Mary's eneo la Msongari Capuchin TV tunapoungana na familia ya Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi katika siku hii ya kifamilia na pamoja nasi umeshuhudia pale cha hawa vijana ambao watatuambia wametoka wapi wanawakilisha vipi na kanisa uh, jijini yako na ofisi yako uh, jina langu ni Lewis Karanja na nimetoka katika parokia ya Our Lady of Mount Carmel ngale Limuru katika mchezo huu ambao umeigiza ume pale kwa pale mbani na talanta hizo practiced like for for the whole day and that actually brings youths together because as you can see when our most moshi moshi in families we have challenges that 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 bring us away from each right whereby the challenges feels like is more than than the others 
problem but then the church comes in and calms him down actually that's how Christ comes to our life he, ca he comes he comes us down and then we are united together as a family because even in life the family is the basics of life yes in such production such a production that you have invested so much time what does it involve for you tell us your name and how does it how, how has it in play Maria, Maria Geshoe, what involves in this dance, we have to come up with that reconciliation to our family, to our parents, to our kids. We need to come up together. We need to create at a CC into those like making families. We have to know what we have to do. That way you've seen the father is like beating the child, the kid, because he's teaching him the role, the roles and the moles of Ufai like kuwa greedy. Ufai kuwa greedy, you need to have you have to you have to you, you have to have humility and morals you have to have behaviors yes karibu hapa dada utuambie katika dunia hii ya sasa ambapo vijana dada amesema you have to have morals vijana wa siku hizi wanasemekana hawana morals morals ni nini jina yangu ni asumta mukuhe gesheri kutoka kwa lokia lady of mount carmel ngarariga so ya mhm tuna uh, what did you ask? Uh -huh. Manaki ya moros ni tambia, tabia njema katika jumu ya zetu, mahali popote tulipo. Aya, kuwa wazazi wengi wanasema hatuna tabia njema, ndivo, lakini tunawaiga, tunawaiga wenyewe. So, uh, there's, some, there's a quote that usually says, uh, children are never good at listening to their elders, but they are better at imitating them. So, ukituonyesha tabia njema, nasi tutaweza kuifuata. Kwa mfano, hapa tulipo, tumionyeshwa na pal, uh, fa father wetu, ametuonyesha that go, go coming to the church, participating in the church, being present in in the church is the best way to grow as the youth so if uh, him he has been apparent to us same way with our parents be 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 a good example to us so that we may imitate you because mostly good at, but they are good at following what they are at the home yeah kuna kijana mwingine hapa karibu atuambie vijana wanatumika zaidi vizuri na visivyo kwenye maandamano wanatumika kwenye kwenda kupengine kuharibu ya wapinzani wa kisiasa wanatumika vijana nyinyi mmechagua kutumika kanisani wale wengine wanatumika nje mngewaambiaje mimi ningewaambia tu kukubali Kristo ndani ndani mwako ni jambo muhimu sana kwa sababu anytime you anytime you in time of trouble Christ will always be there for you. But anytime you're there demonstrating for someone who, isn't, who even doesn't care about what you eat, what you do, they, they, they day in, day out. Because this person you're there demonstrating about him, hata kuja kupeunga kwako, utaumia we mwenyewe, hata kulipia bile hospitali. Lakini ya yuko tu mule, ndani, akikula na waku kwa meza ku. Wewe huko umo huku nje, ukikula tutigas. So, sisi, mimi naeza umbia wa vijana wenye wanaenda kutu maandamano, kazi yao tu ni hiku. Fuata tu, hawa watu wenye wanakuwa, wanabishana tu, kiwana siyasa. Naeza umbia tu, ukikubari tu kikristu ndani mwako, ndani yako, hakuna wakati. Hakuna wakati utaka, utafika wewe mwenyewe utoke nja yake kama sisi wakati tunafanya practice hii he dance we take much time in the church we spend much time in the church so most of the time we never see what is going out outside there and we are never carried away by the things of the world Tuko na msanii hapa ambaye atatuchezea hii hiki chombo chake na kabla haja atuchezea kwanza world coin world coin 1007 1007 bure bilashi umezipata sababu nina maswali eh, mbona eh. maswali gani nauliza nani maswali ya world coin eh, maswali yangu ni kwa wanao tupia. we had uh, let me take us back we had the covid jab has gone then we have now world coin eh, so what is happening in the world what's happening out there what's happening in uh, other other places are there are other places in, uh, embracing this world coin then why should i rush into it yeah Dada, world coin Alfusaba Zaburi, unazo. Sitaki.
Takis shilingi za bure katika uchumi huu ambao ni mgumu. Hazishia said kuhusu COVID. And then mimi sioni hata haja ya tulichukua anga tunachukua anga hata fingerprints. Macho tumeona pale TikTok what is happening later like it's videos it's funny but considering back back in your mind it has something so me I don't support world coin at all. Yeah. What do you have to say about the world coin sir? Uh, for me mimi kongo sijachukua world coin cuz mimi mwenyewe naweza pata hiyo 7k within even 2 days in the span of 2 days. Why should I spend my half day on my machine and king on watu from starting niende saba. then the other thing I ask myself mbona natumia macho yangu wakati ile mwingine nikienda kwa banki natumia vidole vyangu that's the question but kuna ma, kuna flesi na samanga when the deal is too good think twice people nowadays people are not thinking twice before they do anything they just do because they, because others are doing ushauri wako kwa vijana ambao wanatafuta hii go out coin waipate shilingi shilingi 1700 waipate pesa borere what i will say is that uh, this world coin we don't know about it see ndio i'm an it guy they are taking your fingerprints they are taking your eyes what if they use those eyes and those fingerprints in crimes you find that your fingerprints and eyes have been used in another place to make commit crime na ulilipia 12000 sababu umejifunga miaka si mara moja ama mara mbili tumesikia kesi zile za mtu anakuomba simu apigie mtu mwingine unapata kumbe ni ni, ni uhalifu alikuwa ameenda kutekeleza unapata hiyo inakuletea shida we mwenyewe mwenye ulimpia hiyo simu and 7000 peke what i can say you see what we are doing it's work that we do you see that stage that we have performed we can even go and perform in other places like marriages ndio so that's a, that's a job that we are doing wewe mwenye unaona una kazi jitafutie talent yako unaweza kuwa unaimba unaweza kuwa unacheza gitar hata kuna unafanya sports kama sisi tuko na sports zenye zimeishi kuisha si ndio we are participating in the indoor activities the football the volleyball the basketball si ndio that's a talent and that's a way that itakuondoka katika hata kwa hayo maandamano yenu unasema vijana wanatumia vibaya sikosei wanatumia vibaya sababu mbona mwingine na hakujui uende upoteze uhai wako jua mtu mwingine wache familia yako akililia sababu ulienda kutetea mtu mwingine what if you, you, you have used that time to do something constructive doesn't mean that you go to an office to knock no you can employ yourself start small start selling smokies start selling uji start selling eggs hiyo pia ni kazi si ndio lakini watu chenye wanaona mentality yao ni nataka kupata pesa haraka na na uwezipata pesa haraka kuna kuanga na stages unaanza na kazi pole pole unaenda ukigrow pole 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 vijana tuitikie kuvumilia hali yenye tuko nayo ingawa hata kama maisha iko juu pia si tujitume tufanye kazi yenye tu utapata fanya usi usi usibague kazi yote even in places you see that hata hata kwa matatu unapata siku hizi kuna kina mama ambao we, wanafanya kazi kwa matatu kama ma contractor si ndio hadi kuna wamama kazi kwa tuk tuka ndo wanabeba watu that is a job ndio amejituma sababu mwisho anatafuta pesa sisi wote tunahitaji pesa tafuta pesa kwa njia nzuri achana walko wow tunawakilisha na vijana hapa katika uwanja wa shule ya St Mary's na hapa tuna msanii tuambie majina chombo kinaitwaje so mimi naitwa Evans Ngoge eh hii inaitangwa accordion kwa kina kimombo lakini ndio kina dakika ya mungeto kina dakika mungeto accordion hii ni tuseme ni zile uh, za kitambo za siyaoge kwa hiyo ile shona na gia metuo na nyebo lakini ikifaa tuseme for now inakuanga ngumu sana kupaka ta kwa market lakini kwenye umeipata unaifurahia tu nayo mvijana basi kuizi maana yake pengine hawajui wanajua tu zile za kisasa ngoma na nini ile ama piano no, na hii kitu sasa hii kitu ni inachezanga zile nyimbo za kitambo nyimbo ambazo zinaonyeshana sisi kama wakikuyu kwenye tulitoka nyimbo ambazo zinaelezea tabia zetu mienendo na vitu kama hizo si kila ti, kila wakati unasikiza mapiano afro beats sometimes tunarudi huko ndani tunaelezea mambo yetu hebu yeah. tuwakilisha kidogo tusikie sauti yake
ni vijana ambao wamejitolea ku, ku, kuinjilisha katika uh, ku, usanii wao michezo na katika yale mambo ambayo wanafanya kanisani wamesema wenyewe kwamba wanatumika kwa njia inayofaa wa watu wameshuhudia kwamba hawana haja na hela ya worldcoin maana hawajui ama hatujui inatoka wapi kwa hivyo ni changamoto kwa vijana wengine ambao pengine wako kule mashinani wanasema hakuna kazi wako idol inatuonyesha kwamba vijana wanaweza kujituma na kuwajibika basi tunawashukuru vijana hawa Mungu wa mchezo huo kwa namna nyingine alafu tuweze eh, kuonyesha weng, vijana wengine namna mnavyofanya imekuwa ni ibada takatifu ya misa kutoka uwanja wa shule ya uh, St Mary's eneo la Msongari siku ya kit, kifamilia kwenye jimbo hili kuu ibada ya misa ilivyoongozwa na mhashamu wa skofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo amekuwa na uh, skofu msaidizi wake David Kamau askofu mkuu mstaafu John Cardinal Njue pamoja na askofu wa jimbo jirani jimbo la Gong na askofu kutoka nchi ya Mali hasa kwa ni baba wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya hapa uwanjani na kule studioni waliosimama na kuketi masaa marefu tunakutakia um, mchana mwema Jumapili ya kesho ni ya 19 ya kipindi cha kawaida na kumbuka kwamba tumeadhimisha miaka sita tangu Mwenyezi Mungu alipotujalia neema hii ya kuinjilisha katika njia hii ya runinga ya Kapuchin na siku ya Alhamisi ama siku ya Ijumaa ijayo tutakuwa pamoja na mhashamu askofu mkuu kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sala na karamu ya jioni kwa niaba ya wote Mungu akubariki na kukulinda tunakumalizia tuna, tuna na sauti ya ngoma hii hawa vijana kutoka Ngarariga ni kutoka Ngarariga ili wewe kijana pale ulipo nyumbani uweze kujituma na kutafuta namna ya kuweza kufanya kazi ya Mungu Capuchin TV Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Kweli Kweli ni baraka Kweli ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Kweli Kweli ni baraka Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV Kitambulisho katoliki I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV we are very very grateful and we always encourage people of goodwill our Christians to continue supporting the Capuchin TV the only Catholic TV the only one in Kenya imagine the only one so let us support them they cover most of our masses here at the basilica So as individuals as groups let us support uh, Captain TV because they continue uh, reaching out reaching out to the people of God wherever they are to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually so Captain TV thank you may God bless your ministry Tuendelee kufanya kazi baby number 5106789 account name Cops TV You are watching Capuchin TV For any complaints, comments or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717 424 866 your complaint shall be addressed within 7 days remember to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity
My name is David Mukaru. I am the CEO of Caritas Microfinance Bank. And I want to welcome you into this discussion. First and foremost is to wish you a happy and a great family day as the family of uh, Archdiocese of Nairobi. We are excited as a bank to report, to report that quite an amount of uh, work has been done and we continue growing your bank. Uh, in the year 2023, at the beginning, during the Think Business uh, Awards, we were awarded to be the best microfinance bank in Kenya. I thank you, our clients, shareholders, and other stakeholders for the continued support you have given us. The bank indeed is making remarkable strides in ensuring that in this challenging market, we remain profitable and true to our vision. I want to report that in the market, four out of the 14 licensed microfinance banks in the country, only four were able to record a profit in the year where Caritas Microfinance Bank emerged the highest uh, profit-making institution. And this is uh, really to thank you for continued support and growth of uh, business. And when you look at the market share, uh, four out of the 14 banks have been categorized as large banks, with the newest entrance being yours, uh, truly Caritas Microfinance Bank, whose market share increased from 4.3% in 2021 to 5.2% in 2022. The growth of uh, Caritas Microfinance Bank amid the challenges in the market is testimony on our joint efforts and commitments to all our stakeholders towards our strategic vision and mission. We are proud of the boundless confidence you have placed in this institution, and we intend to continue being that household financial service uh, provider that adds value to all. We continue to invite you to continue embracing and utilizing our products and services, especially designed for you. This quarter, we have uh, revamped our Caritas Pomoja program that serves the self-help groups and we want to invite you to uh, come and look at what we've been able to we've been able to do. We've also come up with what we call Lipana Caritas solution for business people, institutions, and corporates to enable them uh, manage their cash flows. We've also come up with uh, other church products like Kanisa Imara, uh, Tabibu Imara, and Elimu Imara. We truly remain uh, your uh, valued partner and your ethical financial partner. And we continue to say Pamoja. Marisha Jami. Thank you very much and have a wonderful family day. God bless you all. Tumsifu Yesu Christo, welcome to Caritas Microfinance Bank, your church bank. We are here to take care of your needs as a church, as a parish, as an outstation, and even as a jumuya. As Caritas Microfinance Bank, we understand the operations of the parishes and we have customized products to suit the best needs of the church. We are also here to take care of the schools that are run by the parishes, also to take care of the hospitals that we work for. We ask ourselves our question, where do we bank this money? And we, as Caritas, we have the solution for you that is easy, it's cheap, and it's even convenient for you. As a school, we have the solutions for you to collect the school fees that you have, and even in case you need even uh, to be accommodated for short-term needs, we are there for you. As a parish, when you have a project, always think about Caritas, where we can be able to assist you in terms of financing, either to buy plots, to do constructions, even to buy the pastoral cars for our priests. We also take care of the priests, even in their needs. We have customized products for the priests to be able to bank them, and also to even assist them in terms of finances. As Caritas also, for the hospitals that you operate, we are here, we are ready to serve you by offering you cash collection solutions. We are also there to offer you with financing for the projects that are being undertaken in the hospitals and the health centers that are run by the parishes. Karibuni Caritas, let's grow the bank together. Hello, my name is James Kinyanjui, working for Caritas Microfinance Bank looking after the self-help groups and their members. Are you a member of the self-help group? Here at Caritas Microfinance Bank, we are looking at my church, my bank, and my group. As members of the self-help groups, you should open an account with Caritas Finance Bank and get to enjoy the products that we have. 
One of the products that we have for the self-help groups is Caritas Pamoja. Caritas Pamoja looks at several things. The first one that we are looking at is in terms of uh, asset finance. We are looking at business loans. We are looking at plot purchase and construction. Caritas Microfinance Bank will assist you in all these products so that you are able to move forward and in the best way possible. The bank looks after the self-help group members by having you get incentives as and when you bring in a new member. Yani unapata kakitu. Ukileta mtu afungue account, ukileta mtu afanye biashara na sisi. As a member of the self-help group, kuna kitu ambayo tutakupatia kama incentive. For you to benefit in this Caritas Pamoja, all you need is you are to open a bank account with Caritas Microfinance Bank. You also need to be a member of the self-help group and an introduction letter from the self-help group. I'm Dennis Terito, the head of operations at Caritas Microfinance Bank, and I'm here to introduce to you Lipana Caritas. How does this solution work? So we shall be able to give you the Caritas uh, short code, which is 899790. Then the, you as a customer, you are at liberty to choose a short code that shall be convenient for you, that you have an attachment with. Do you have an existing pay bill that you do have? that we wish now to transfer it to Caritas Microfinance Bank. We shall allow you to do this. How so? shall just give you 899790, which is the Caritas uh, pay bill. Then the six digit short code that shall be able to choose, that shall be able to receive these payments at, at no cost right now. We are able to offer you zero cost to you. And if you want to uh, differentiate these payments, be it maybe it's a charge, you have a donation, you have a tithe, you have any other offering, you can be able to just use that six-digit shortcode that you have selected, put a hyphen, then you can be able to add whatever reason it is. Or are you a self-help group and you have members and they have the different membership numbers, do you want to receive payments through Caritas? Get this Lipana Caritas, do the six-digit code, do a hyphen, do the membership number. It shall be so easy for your uh, accounting department or your reconciliation department to differentiate these payments. And at the same time, you can be able to qualify for loan, loan facilities or once you start utilizing a solution and can be able to give you more and more ways that you can be able to ac accumulate your funds. The aspect of financial management. When it comes to financial management, we have realized that um, customers have not understood how to manage their finances so that they, at the end of the day, they benefit from what they are doing. I want to give an example, like uh, when it comes to borrowing, it's important nowadays to take note that in, um, in borrowing, banks have started pricing products depending on how risky the customer is. If you are a good borrower and you have a very good score on CRB, a good score might make you to be given a lower interest rate than compared to any other person who has defaulted and therefore the score is too low. Uh, talking about repayment, how do you ensure that your loans are repaid well. It, you can only do that if you have planned your finances well, what we call budgeting. When you open an account and you have been given a loan, you start paying your loan promptly, you improve your savings, but at the same time, you need to open like a, a focused saving account, where, for example, in Caritas, they refer to it as a own account, where you keep on uh, saving, saving as you pay your loan. It will come a time when the business is low then you can trigger off your own account and pay off this loan or reduce the burden. Um, one thing also that people should know in when it comes to financial management and in business is that um, it is important that as a, as a human being, as a, as a customer, as a, as, as a business person, to also emulate what companies do. Companies have what you call financial statement. Customers should also have a financial statement. Here I mean as a person, you need to know what's your balance sheet, what is your cash flow, what's your PL as a person. I also want to talk about the aspect of insuring your business. You need to insure your business. Ensure it's not it should not be an issue of when you are borrowing is when you insure your business. Ensure that at any given moment you, your insurance is up to date. In an event of an eventuality, as you go back to the financial, please also look at the insurance so that you start somewhere. Shit.
kuelekea nasi mwezi huu Channel Bomba Cinema na vipindi vya kusisimua burudani kamili kwa familia nzima That's why I love this stuff Cherekea nasi upate nafasi ya kushinda zawadi kila wiki kuanzia 55 inch TV fridge na piki piki Street family na ununue Star Times decoder madukari kwetu na kwa uzaji wetu nchi nzima Lipia subscription yako upate nafasi ya kushinda zawadi kemkem kwenye draw za kila wiki It's the best kutoka kwa familia yetu hadi yako asante kwa kutukaribisha nyumbani kwenu Star Times furahia maisha kidigitali For close to 40 years the Catholic University of Eastern Africa has stood out as a regional hub for creating success stories At Kwaya we are known for developing lifelong skills shaping destinies and forming innovative and transformative leaders for the industry and the society Ours is an exciting student experience in a rich multicultural environment to empower dreams for the future. Welcome to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. A state of the art healthcare facility built with love of Christ at the center of all services. The mission is to provide Christ-centered evidence-based, affordable, efficient, and patient-focused services, specialized healthcare in this region through sustained targeted health systems. St. Francis Community Hospital Kasarani We believe healing begins with compassion built on excellence, honesty, integrity, efficiency and effectiveness. This is the St. Francis Community Hospital Strategic Plan 2021 and uh, to 2025. We have the objectives which are guiding us and this ones are being practiced and actualized as we continue serving the patients we carry on a mission of responsive holistic healing hatched 14 years ago stronger and bolder guided by our progressive vision of being the preferred epitome of high quality healthcare in the region st francis community hospital which was started in 2009 in january and this was due to the increasing demand for quality healthcare services to a fast growing sub segment of urban population in Nairobi uh, the surroundings of this hospital are slum areas we have madhare we also have huruma and we have the upcoming kasarani slums we have greatly invested in latter day diagnostic and therapeutic medical infrastructure to guarantee you full recovery through timely and effective treatment in the executive department we have a capacity of 8 beds 8 patients we normally admit all patients who are who require the executive services that is gynecological patients medical patients pediatrics surgical patients we have consultants primary doctors and professional nurses who are well trained and person to patient care an outpatient department with fully fledged specialized clinics surgical obstetric gynecological pediatric surgery and the neurosurgeon clinics our ward is divided into four parts the acute room the medical part and the isolation and the surgical surgical part we admit patients up to 13 years we have a residential pediatrician who is always with us and on tuesday and thursdays we have our pediatric surgeon who comes and attends to our patients a neat fully equipped 22 bed capacity pediatric ward with resident and consultant specialists stand by for prompt attendance to booked and emergency cases we also have medical outpatient clinics where we have physicians coming and seeing patients who have been booked we also have other services 
like dental unit, laboratory, where we have highly specialized uh, facilities and services. We also have imaging department, where we have all the imaging that one would need for diagnostics. We also take care of our Im uh, immunosuppressed patients, and that is a department called CCC, where the C HIV patients come, they are cancelled, they are given treatment, and they are also followed at their homes by a um, unit called community-based health care. A modern, executively furnished private patient facility to meet your privacy preference needs. Patients uh, serve their meals according to their own preferences and the visiting time is open. The visitors excuse us when they are giving the care to the patient. Then we give personalized health care services to the patient. 24-hour ambulance services for both critical intubated and non-intubated patients. We also have dialysis services, which is accredited by NHIF, ICU services, a neonatal bone unit, and just to say that we've been able to follow up a baby who was born with 500 grams and went home with two kilograms. We feel that that is a plus for St. Francis. We continuously work to further improve and diversify our services to better meet dynamic patient needs as we share in the healing ministry of Christ through excellent medical care. We believe that as we have our motto of treating and God healing, the same God is going to see us climb higher and higher. Trust St. Francis Community Hospital for all your health care needs. Experience palpable compassion in health care. Everyone is welcome to St. Francis, a special pediatric ward. We take care of you. You're welcome to St. Francis, an executive department. Visit us today along Kasarani Mwiki Road in Nairobi. For health emergencies and other inquiries, contact us on 0713-969-608 or 0741-689-983 or email us on admin at stfranciscospital.or.ke. St. Francis Community Hospital, Kasarani. We treat God heals. Christianity. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and prophets. Islam No one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. Judaism What is hateful to you do not do to your neighbor. This is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. Baha'i Faith Lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish to be laid upon you and desire not for anyone the things you would not desire for yourself. Buddhism Treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful. Hinduism This is the sum of duty. Do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Amen. 
amani iwe nani kujuta ya kwa kwa tayari kutoa sadaka Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We are fishers of men, priests in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Marko. Inasonga mbele injili. Waeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu tutakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Kana inasonga. Inasonga. Inasonga mbele injili. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi. Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We are consecrated. We are religious men and women. We are CMA. We are men of action. We are commission. We are CWA. We are women of faith. We are soprano and alto. We are tenor and bass. We are voices of praise and worship. On that grace, grace morning when the sun was on the way. On that resurrection morning, Jesus rose to life again. We are youth for Christ. House 47 Advent Monica product We are YCA We are MYM For the sake of his sorrowful passion We are PMC We are liturgical dancers and altar servers We are baptized I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the holy spirit we are confirmed we are married we are marriage encounter we are couples for christ we are ordained mtakatifu yosefu We are one faith, one hope, one baptism. We are one holy, catholic, apostolic. We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are. Sacramenti za Kanisa Katoliki. Sakramenti ni ishara wazi ionekanayo ya neema isiyoonekana iliyofanyizwa kwanza na Yesu Kristo mwenyewe ilete neema au izidishe neema moyoni mwetu. 
Sakramenti za Kanisa Katoliki ni saba. Ubatizo, Kipa imara, Ekaristi takatifu, Kitubio, Mpako mtakatifu, Daraja takatifu, Ndoa. Ubatizo. Ubatizo ni kupata uzima mpya kwa kushiriki kifo na ufufuko wa Yesu inavyodekezwa uwazi zaidi mtu akizamishwa na kutolewa majini. Tulizikwa pamoja naye kwa njia ya ubatizo katika mauti yake kusudi kama Kristo alivyofufuka katika wafu kwa njia ya utukufu wa baba vivyo hivyo na sisi tuenende katika upya wa uzima. Mtu asipozaliwa kwa maji na kwa roho hawezi kuingia ufalme wa Mungu. Kipaimara Ni sakramenti yenye kumpa Mkristo roho mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa Ekaristi Sakramenti ya Ekaristi ni sakramenti ya mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo aliye kweli katika maumbo ya mkate na divai kitubio au upatanisho Sakramenti ya kitubio ndiyo sakramenti ya kuondolea watu thambi walizotenda baada ya ubatizo Sakramenti ya kitubio pia huitwa sakramenti ya upatanisho ipo katika fungu la sakramenti za uponyaji Kuna sakramenti mbili za uponyaji kitubio na mpako mtakatifu wa wagonjwa Dhumuni haswa la sakramenti ya uponyaji ni kuzirejeshea uhai roho zetu pale zinapougua kwa kutenda dhambi. Yesu ndiye tabibu mkuu wa roho zetu naye yu tayari kututibu kila tunapougua. Mpako wa wagonjwa ni sakramenti ambayo Padre humwombea mgonjwa neema ya Mungu na kumpaka mafuta matakatifu kwa ajili ya neema ya roho na mwili. Daraja Sakramenti ya daraja ndiyo sakramenti ambayo mwanamme mkatoliki aliitwa na Mungu hupata mamlaka na neema ya kuendeleza ndani ya kanisa utume Kristo aliyowakabithi mitume wake. Ndoa Sakramenti ya ndoa ndiyo yenye kuunganisha wakristo wawili mume na mke waliopendana kwa hiari bila shuruti au vitisho au kizuizi kwa kuapa neema ya kuishi pamoja kitakatifu wakiwalea watoto wao katika utakatifu My name is David.